Good morning, good morning. We're back again. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll, with you to 12 o'clock today. We have got the best show ever. We've been singing Take That Today This Could Be. I don't know why you don't like Take That so much. I know that you did the theatre show, so you just a bit take that out, basically. Take that out. Um, they were very good though. Uh, anyway, it is going to be the greatest day. And I tell you why, because we've got brand new guests, we've got brand new fabrics, we've got just so much to, uh, to excite us. I know that our bank holiday bonanza was brilliant, so we really had to pull out the big guns to be able to compete. And my word, we have. Before we start the early bird, can I just show you, because today's show is slightly different to normal. So our guest is coming in, well, she's here already, eagerly waiting in the wing. She's gonna be here at nine o'clock, demonstrating these amazing needle felted pieces. Look at that little hedgehog. I love the hedgehog so much, and I love the beehive. Do you know what? I can't make up my mind, which is my favorite. They're absolutely adorable. The little bunny rabbits, the rainbow. I really want to make that. In fact, I want to have a go at making everything, and we're going to show you how you make them. We've got all of the kits. We've got exclusive deal. We've got incredible, incredible kits, and a great demonstration from Steph as well, coming up at 9 and 11. Good morning, everybody on Facebook. Oh, my word. Right, I'll start with the, the early bird, but I must say, I couldn't sleep last night because I was giggling so much to the point that tears were streaming down my face of the subtitles on Facebook. It's so funny. I'm so, so sorry if there's anybody who watches it and is at all offended because it's um it sounded like I had a right potty mouth yesterday. But whoever was doing those subtitles, they got me very wrong. I think Joe Wilcox is at home trying to keep up with me. And Kieran said, it's because I talk too quickly. So today I'm going to try and speak slower so that the subtitles will um, will appear correctly. But any funny ones, jot them down on the uh, on the Facebook Live because I, I, I love, love, love hearing from you. Just come say hello. Right, we've got that new website as well. Thank you very, very much for your patience last night. I know that we uh, had a, a bit of a, well, our, our website was sort of turned off uh, temporarily last night just so that we were able to revamp it. It means that we're one step closer to getting our own website. But we've had a good look at it this morning, and it actually is, I think, a lot clearer. I think it's a lot clearer than normal, which is brilliant. So we'll have a look, we'll have a look in a bit. Now, let's start with today's early bird. Um, if you would like a really, really cute little gorgeous pink cushion, today's early bird is for you. How adorable is he? With his little bandana, Lovely little spotty, spotty skin with these big, beautiful little droopy ears. Just nine ninety nine is an absolute bargain. You could sit on top of your sewing machine or sit on your sewing desk, ready to go. With uh, remember, nice and easy to be able to stick all of your pins. This won't hurt. I promise. This won't hurt. Look at him. Just £9.99. He is absolutely adorable. He's saving £5 a day as your early bird special. Trust me, I know loads of you have already opened your order already this morning. I'm not surprised if you spotted the Lynette Anderson fabric. We will be talking about her in this first hour. If you haven't yet been to the web, have a look. Um, really easy to navigate through all of the products on our website, just as normal, www.sewingstreet.com. Of course, as I say, we're live on Facebook, YouTube, Freeview, Sky. Uh, I know that we're getting busier and busier and busier as every single week and every month goes on, more people are finding us. So all I suggest is that you're checking out of your baskets nice and early if you want to make sure that you secure anything that you desperately want because everything oh, is selling very, very quickly already this morning. £9.99 for today's early bird special. Comes in a nice little box. See, my mum's already um, started her Christmas shopping. We all know a, a dog lover, don't we? Who isn't a dog lover? And I must say, I am partial to a good dash and a, a, a sausage dogs, they're my favourite, they're so adorable. To the point actually, the people keep buying me sausage dog things, I don't even have a sausage dog. So do you know, normally, like my mum's got a Maltese Terrier and she's got loads of things that are Maltese Terrier, like mugs and different things around the house. Whereas 
I keep getting sausage dog things, and I don't even own a sausage dog, but everybody just knows I love them. They are absolutely adorable. I just think he's gorgeous. And he's quite weighty. So he's not, if you are, uh, you know, taking your pins out of him, he's not going to come flying with you as well. Just £9.99. And they call it puppy love. You could, what do you mean, sorry? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I love his little neckerchief. Does anybody's doggy at home have a neckerchief like this? Uh, I know that Kat's getting a new dog very, very soon and she's already got a neckerchief for him and a matching one for her dad. What's his name? Oh, Terry number one and Terry number two. Which one's Terry number one? I think it's probably going to be the dog, isn't it? Oh, look at his little nose. Just nine ninety nine. Right, stay. Don't move. He's well trained as well, isn't he? Look really cute. Roll over. Oh, no. Look into the camera. He's not very good at rolling over, but everything else he's brilliant with. Stay. <laughs> oh, he's just so gorgeous. Oh, the fun we have. We've got loads of fun lined up for you today. Loads coming up. As I say, lots of people already checking out on the needle felting kits, by the way. Be aware, the beehive, the beginner's felting bundle, the baby hedgehog, the baby bunny, the rainbow and hope. They've all been extremely, extremely popular um, throughout lockdown, Steph was saying. At the moment, the Mega Bundle isn't on the website yet, but we have got an exclusive offer on the whole shebang. So if you do want to get making uh, and do all of these lovely little woodland creatures, I just love this hedgehog. His fur's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, so... Shall we tell you how to get in touch? Those of you that want to come and say hello to me, uh, please, please do. It's really easy to do so, whether you're on Facebook or email. So the email address is studio at sewingstreet.com. That's studio at sewingstreet.com. And that will go straight through to my producer, Kat, who's upstairs in the gallery. She's got the emails open now. So if you have got any messages or questions for us, uh, if, you, if you are, I'm a beginner to needle felting as well. So any questions, I'll try and get any questions I have into Steph, but if you've got any questions as well at home, definitely a good day today to get them in. Um, I'll also, if you do want to get involved on Facebook, as I said, we are now live on Facebook. Come say hello. How are you all this morning? Feels like a Monday, doesn't it? It's Tuesday, bank holiday. Weekend was brilliant, but it's now Tuesday already. Uh, Sewing Street TV on Facebook. If you want to drop us a message, then you can either do it on the live stream underneath us or um, drop us a message on there privately. Okay. So, if you jump onto the web, which is www.sewingstreet.com, it's exactly the same as normal. We've just done some little tweaks. So here's what you see at home. So straight away, uh, this is what you'll see if you go to sewingstreet.com. And just like before, you can shop our catalogue. You can already start checking out on any of the half meters, any of the complementary fabrics. These are all of the bits and bobs. And there are the kits. I mean, look at the price points. You get everything that you need in the kits as well. So absolutely make the most of it as soon as you can. To me, that looks a lot clearer, does it to you? Really, really clear. Very clear indeed. Um, so that's all the products from today. But if there is something specific, then you can obviously shop the, the catalogues. Now, at the top, if you just type in sewingstreet.com, it will still still redirect you to Jewelry Maker, but we're one step closer. We had it as um, a saved page. So it said you can't get on here. If you're struggling to get on, just retype it into your, into your search bar at the top, www.sewingstreet.com or Google it, whatever you want to do, you'll be able to find us on there. Um, if you are struggling at all, everybody should be fine. But remember, you can still buy, oh, there it is. So just type in sewingstreet.com, sewingstreet.com. Uh, now also, don't forget, our customer service team are lovely. They're really, uh, really fabulous and they're literally just minutes down the road from us in our UK-based customer service team. So if you do have any questions or any problems, please, of course, or you can place an order with them as well. 0800 Okay, right, before I get into this, I really wanted to do a bit of an introduction to let Lynette Anderson, because it's Lynette Anderson is brand new to us here at Sewing Street. Um, 
But I think that a lot of people are already fans of Lynette Anderson because it's been selling so quickly. About an hour ago, we just thought we'll check the website and just see that everything's all up and running. And Kat said, oh my word, so much of the stock has already gone on the mega bundles, the half meters. And I think it's because, you know, you really, really struggle to get Lynette Anderson products here in the UK, we found. We, as far as I'm aware, are the first company to be launching this collection in the UK. It's called Swan Cottage and we're so proud to have it. But first, let's learn a little bit more about Lynette Anderson. So, uh, one of Australia's leading patchwork quilting and fabric designers, Lynette Anderson, has a certificate... Uh, 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 I can't say that word. Sophisticated, naive design sought after all around the world. Since 1995, Lynette has created countless patterns, including quilts, pillows, bags, sewing accessories, and buttons. Inspired by childhood memories and other moments in time, Lynette's designs are unique because they always start with her original pencil line drawings. Lynette has split her time between designing at her home, studio, and in her shop, the little quilt store on a beautiful south coast in Queensland, Australia. In, in, in 2008, Lynette was honourably uh, chosen to be an international quilt artist and held set a special exhibition at the Tokyo Quilt and Stitch Show. One of her greatest passions is travelling and teaching around the world. And there she is, um, a photograph of her. But you can see just from the background, that's just a dive in to this Swan Cottage range. And you can see that this is taken from her original drawings. Uh, from experiences that I've had of, of Lynette Anderson's work, I love the way that she combines a lot of embroidery, she combines a lot of applique, she combines a lot of, as I say, like hand stitching. It's all quite whimsical and as it said, very much draws upon her, her experiences and memories and childhood memories, which I absolutely love. Um, have a look, we've got another little slide just to show you, uh, which is a quote from Lena Anderson herself off her website. She says, I've been designing, creating patterns and butters for patchwork and quilting since 1995. The fabric in those days, uh, d fabric designing in those early days was a dream. One which came true in 2001, and since then I've designed more than 24 fabric collections. Over the years, I've met and made friends with many quilters all around the world. Uh, I mean, she is seriously renowned. To say it's literally the other side of the world. Um, you can imagine it's very, very difficult to get hold of here in the UK uh, because she's got huge demand in America, huge demand in Japan, huge demand in New Zealand and Australia, obviously, um, all over Europe. But here in the UK, we always really struggle to get it. So we've never been able to get Lynette Anderson until now. As far as we were aware, we are, we've had a good check this morning because we were thinking, right, we knew yesterday we were. As far as we're aware, we were thinking maybe somebody's uploaded something over the, overnight. As far as we're aware, we're the only company in this country to be launching this collection right now, which is very, very exciting. So we were following her on social media and I've been following her moves and I know she gave, she's given a couple of little sneak previews. I know a few weeks ago on, uh, on Instagram, she put a picture of a swan on Instagram. But have a look at this. So, well, this was the one that was only posted uh, in July this year. So literally a couple of months ago, uh, we just saw the salvage of the, of the uh, swan cottage and already everybody was getting so excited all over the world. So that was posted from Queensland. Um, and I think this one was the one that I was saying about, oh, no, 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 this is actually uh, on somebody else's Facebook uh, that they used. This is on, uh, that Lynette Ansham actually um, shared on, on, her, on her Facebook or on her Instagram, on her Instagram, using that Swan Cottage range, a delicious blend of new cottage fabrics and Japanese yarn dyed woven, quilted by, and it, it, there you go, you can have a look on her Instagram if you have a bit of a closer look at that. But um, looks amazing in the hexes, doesn't it? Looks so amazing. And the quilting, I really like that quilting as well. So are you ready to dive on in? So this is your mega bundle. I know so many people who are going to say, do you know what? I want the whole shebang. I want to get the whole shebang. It's absolutely beautiful. You have got so many incredible prints look at that one that's the one that we saw the little background 94 pounds and 99 pence 
100% cotton. 100% cotton. I love these little cottages. So this is your swan cottage with the lovely swans. Our first look here in the UK into this whole collection. Let's have a really good dive in. We've got them available by the half meter as well. So keep your eyes peeled on which ones you want. Start checking out on your baskets on the web. It is quite limited by the way, I must say. It is quite limited. So be aware if there is one that you really, really love Please just be aware. Sorry, let me just move the item code numbers out of the way. They're all, they all will come if you're getting the Mega Bundle, by the way, with their stickers. So if there is a particular fabric that you like, I'm hoping that there'll be availability of the half meterage, but they are all kind of limited edition, really. They're not ones that we have uh, hundreds of meters of each. So just be aware we've got as much as we possibly can. First place in the UK to have it uh, is the Mega Bundle by the Half Metre. I don't know if anybody's got it in pre-cut yet. I think this might be the first look at this collection, you know. This is so exciting, isn't it? This one's beautiful as well. Absolutely love these sort of mocha tones. Very earthy. Perfect for this sort of time of year. Launching it absolutely at the right time of year. Perfect for autumn. And then these colours as well. The blues, the mockers, the earthy tones. See, the one place that uh, that Kat has found it online just still says coming soon. You still, I don't believe, can buy it. We've got it! Ready, available, now, today. These have already been pre-cut in the Mega Bundle, all into half metre pieces. So if you do want to do something alike to the, uh, the hexi quilt that we've just shown you, or if you've got a quilt design in mind, Grab all six meters while you can. We've also got some complimentary fabrics, which we think will go really, really nice with it. So if you want to make it go even further, absolutely take advantage of that bundle. Now, shall we do these by the half meter? 94 pound and 99 pence. How many of the mega bundles have we got, Kat? I know that, um, yeah, now less than 10. Less than 10 of these, less than 10. Right, so are you ready by the half meter? Let's go by the half meter, this one first. Do you need to know the item code number? Right, the code on this one. Oh, let's see, look, there's your salvage that we saw on Instagram. This one is D-U-Y-H-50. Look, all the swans. Oh, I love it, absolutely love it. Uh, what was that, sorry? Remember, just type in sewingstreet.com into your search bar. Is everybody all right on Facebook? Has everyone found our website? What's wrong? Okay, you will still be able to find it as normal. I know a couple of people have commented on Facebook that they can't find us. It should be literally exactly the same as normal. There it is. If you had us as a save tab or a save website, or if you just typed in sewing normally on the website, you must type in www.sewingstreet.com. Press enter and it will take you to the page that you're seeing right there. Scroll down, there it is. Early Bird, the Mega Bundle and all of the Net Lynette Anderson are there on the fab uh, on the website already. Uh, some of the, uh, the, uh, the kits are going as well, by the way, the crafty kits as well. They're going on the website. So please let me know though if you have any problems because I will keep talking you through throughout the day. For anybody who, who might be struggling, message in, absolutely. Hopefully you should be all fine. Hopefully everyone will be fine. Okay, have a look at this. So first fabric, that H one that I said. Oh no, no I've lost it now. It was. Um, what one did I just say to you? D Oh, I didn't. D-U-Y-H-50. Sorry. Half a metre. Are you ready? Du, 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 du. Buy the half metre, $7.99. Now I'm thinking dressmakers, go for it. Quilters, go for it. If you're thinking of larger projects like bags or uh, if you're thinking of... Uh, there's loads you can do. Soft furnishings. These are beautiful. This would make a beautiful bag, in fact, actually. And as I say, have a look into Lynette Anderson's Instagram and Facebook because she does the most incredible embroidery as well. And you can do such beautiful detail over the top of this and create a real textured three-dimensional fabric. 
7.99, even if you're just getting half a meter of this, just to embellish with lots of other fabrics that you might already have in your stash, just a pocket on a bag, or just as a strap or something to highlight it, it would look beautiful. 7.99, a half meter. Remember, we can ch virtually charge what we want because if you're shipping it from Australia, what's your, ship is, your shipping charge going to be? Today, we are really, really proud that one, we have it. Don't know anywhere else in the UK that you can get it. Um, but also that we've got it at these prices. It's just brilliant at $7.99. And I must say, I absolutely love, love, love these colours. You've got gorgeous greens in there, teal blues. And can you see you've got that almost like checkered background as well? Just very slight checkered background. All of the vines on the leaves are hearts. So cute. I love that all of the... Um, all of the hearts as well. They are absolutely beautiful. Seven pounds 99, there's a lot of detail. And you can see when we were talking about how when, they first, when she first came up with all of the designs, it all starts from a pencil sketch. Has that feel, doesn't it? You can see that. Just seven pounds 99, a half meter. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. Right, so that one's your wallflowers in plum. I absolutely love it. Our next one, floral print. Half a metre, 112 wide, looks like this. Morning, Terry, if you're watching. Ah. Oh, I'm pleased everybody's got us. Lots of messages saying we've confirmed, we've got you, we've got your website. Brilliant. Very pleased. It's exactly the same as normal. www.sewingstreet.com. It was just last night that they uh, they did uh, temporarily take it off for a few hours just to do their updates on our sister channel. So you don't need to worry. We're all still exactly the same. We are hopefully one step closer to being um, having our own our own website. Right. The next one is. I don't know where all my stickers have gone. It's either. V I Y H 07, or it could be U Y Y H 70. One's in blue and one's in thing, they're just stuck together. Don't think they stick. Thank you. I'll try and stick these better. We just do it so that you can um, have the item code number next to it nice and quickly. There you go. Seven pounds, 99, a half meter. These are your scattered flowers, brand new in today. Every single one of these has been very, very popular, already selling on the web. We've got less than 30 units of this, by the way. We've got less than 30 units left. Um, every single one of them, look at the little uh, circles as well. Mix it with like an ochre color, Cat's thinking. I think that'd be beautiful with uh, some, yeah, you can absolutely mix it with some more bright colours. Uh, we've got a complimentary bundle with misty blue I love, with any of your pinks would look gorgeous, like the rose colours would look amazing as well. So much that you can do with this, it's a nice neutral colour, isn't it? If you're thinking for your work room, storage boxes and things like that, absolutely. Seven ninety nine and a half metre, what are you thinking of making with it? Post uh, a message on Facebook. And let me know what you're thinking of making with yours, because we're now less than 30 units. Okay, I knew that this would go like a bit of a frenzy. Next one is V I Y H seven eight zero seven. Oh, see, this would be beautiful for dressmaking as well. It is quilting weight cotton, but don't let that put you off. I'm thinking, what about for like a, a nursery? A blind or something. It's designer. It's, I mean, nobody else. How ex exciting is that? Who else in the UK is going to be able to have Lynette Anderson fabric? There's a lady who I know watches us in Queensland. I wonder whether you've heard of Lynette Anderson. 
uh, where you live, if you're watching, I can't think of the lady's name who, who messages in yesterday. Was it Sandra yesterday or Sharon? I think it might have been Sharon, actually. Sharon, are you watching us yet? I know that it's probably about 6 p.m. in Queensland, isn't it now? I wonder if Linda Anderson is watching, in fact. £7.99. I know that she has a great connection with our, our team here. This is the fantastic thing about Sewing Street is, remember, we're brand new. We started back in February. That's it. But... The team that uh, you're, you know, that you're watching today, myself and Paul and Kat, uh, behind the scenes, everybody who's working behind the scenes, we've actually all worked together in the industry for years before. So in a past life, those of you that knew um, a lot of the faces that you see here from Sewing Quarter, um, we had Lena Anderson on the show. So that's the, we've, we're very, very lucky that, of course, Hayley and our and Neil and our managing team have, of course got a great relationship with, with Lynette, and that's the reason that we're able to bring this to you. Still at these prices, very, very affordably indeed, without hefty shipping costs, just three ninety five dollars all day long, and by the half metre. But I must say, it is now limited, very limited. So don't wait for next week, don't wait for next month. Now is the time to stock up if you do want it by the half meter, especially any of these, these larger pieces. They're absolutely beautiful. So that's your forget-me-not. Isn't that pretty? I do love those green dots as well. The next one is WSYH51. And this is really nice for soft furnishings, actually. This is going to be great for curtains and blinds, for cushions. These are like lovely autumnal leaves. Half a metre, £7.99. Just so you know, limited. When I say we're limited, I mean it more than ever. If you want the mega bundle, we've got five of the mega bundles left. And remember, on the mega bundles, you get everything. You get all six metres, half metres of everything. They're already pre-cut. All of the ones that you've seen. They were going before we even started the show. I know how much everybody absolutely loves these fabrics. So I do make most of them. £94.99. That's six metres. £94.99. Um, I must say, if you are struggling to go back... Um, if you're on a page and then you click back, it might jump you to jewellery. What I would do is just put sewing in again at the top and it will redirect you at sewingstreet.com at the very, very top in your search bar and it will redirect you. Um, because I think some people are struggling that if they press back, it will jump to jewellery. So if you are struggling with that, just try typing in sewingstreet.com back into your search engine and it will, it will come back up with our homepage. Thank you for your um, for your cooperation. It's always just a little, you know, some things when we are having updates done. You know what it's like when you have your phone updates and things like that. Sometimes you get little glitches, but everybody should be fine. It's actually going to be a lot clearer, hopefully, for everybody. So this one back to this one was WSYH51, 799 and a half metre. This is your beautiful leaves, soft brick. Cynthia, yay, Cynthia's loving the new website. It's really clear, isn't it? I find that you can see everything a lot clearer on a new website. That's just seven pounds, 99 and a half meter. It's really lovely quality as well. Let's go on to the next one. This one is uh, XJYH93. Uh, I am just seeing soft furnishings, you know, with this one. That hexi quilt is beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. And for quilting, it's really, really nice. But look at that. See what I mean? I'm thinking for a blind, like a Roman blind, or it would just look incredible. Lampshade covers and things like that, absolutely. It would look gorgeous with this. You're thinking Christmassy. The little red sprigs. 
Oh, isn't it gorgeous, Caroline? I'm absolutely loving this uh, Lynette Anderson range. It's gorgeous. Remember, we're the only people, I hate to sound like a broken record, but can you tell, we're very, very proud of this. I think we're the only people in the UK to stock it. It's the latest collection from Lynette Anderson. Um, she was literally giving little sneak peeks on her Instagram and social media over the last few months during lockdown. But now, we finally got it here. We're really excited. It's beautiful, beautiful quality. Um, and the colours, I love the detail in the background of this one. Just £7.99. That is your sprig on dusty blue. Half a metre looks like this. So it's a lot of fabric, isn't it? But now is your chance to buy off the bolt. It will be, of course, cut to any size you want. So if you are thinking of larger pre-cuts, if you want a metre piece, add two units. If you want... Two meters, add four units to your order. Even less for smaller sewing. Oh, sorry for the confusion. <laughs> right, we're still on the Jewelry Maker website. Just scroll down. Can we remind everybody again, Paul? If you type in www.sewingstreet.com, it's literally exactly the same as yesterday. It's just slightly clearer, the, the products. We haven't got, sorry, to, I'm, I've made it probably a bigger deal than it is, but because yesterday it went off, I just wanted to show everybody uh, how to get onto it. So there you go. So, if you, it says jewelry maker there because I'm already on. So let's go, Sewing, www.sewingstreet dot com press enter it'll say jewelry maker don't worry then that's us here there we are <laughs> it's that live scroll down you can still sign up to our, our mailing list you can still do that there's no jewelry there that is all us the next page that's still all us amazing thanks for that paul I think it's the same um, account, Gabrielle, if you want something from Jewelry Maker as well. I think it's all the same account off the same website. So if you want to add in some beads as well to do some bead embroidery on top of this, you can also scan Jewelry Maker's website while you're there. Absolutely not a problem. Same, is it the same PMP? It's the same PMP. It's the same PMP and everything. Okay, this one is beautiful. This one, your item code is... Um, this one's YWYH51. This is Kat's first official day as a producer, by the way. You're doing a great job, Kat. Seven ninety nine. Everyone should message in and congratulate Kat. It's a first official day. As she's been around for a while, but just floating around doing this and that, not really doing much. But now she, it's her first official day today. Um, it's, it's, it's like you've done it before, actually, isn't it? Seven ninety nine. How about things like pin cushion, smaller projects? Because you've got a lovely scale print there, it's going to be able to obviously mix in with all of your ditzier prints. But still, with smaller projects, you're not going to lose any of those motifs. That's your petals on soft teal. £7.99. Brand new today. Have we had any funny bloopers yet on the um, subtitles? <gasps> I can't believe that. Kat says, I haven't even watched them yet. All Hannah did, all Hannah did yesterday, she says, I'm sorry, I'm not producing. All I've been doing is watching the subtitles. Oh, no. Yeah. <gasps> my favourite one. Are you ready? This is my favourite fabric of the collection. This one is... Oh no, there's no sticker. Oh, this one. The stickers keep falling off on this fabric. A-K-Y-H-71. My favourite of the whole collection. This is like the, fag the flagship one, isn't it? This is literally like the flagship. Fabric, seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. I'd love to know her inspiration to this fabric. Maybe we could do phone a friend and ring her. 
$7.99. I love all of the different elements. Like I hadn't noticed the little gardening gloves and the trowel and spade. Even like the really little, they're so cute. The little hen, the wheelbarrow with the flowers, the gloves. This would be beautiful to fussy cut actually, wouldn't it? The detail in the house as well with the lovely vines. Just seven. Seven ninety nine a half metre, and the background of it as well is 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 kind of slightly mottled. It's got a really lovely, lovely background. You can see that this one starts from those those sketch drawings. You can see that on this one, can't you? I love how whimsical it is. It's really beautiful. Seven ninety nine, and there's so many elements on here. Favourite one, I knew that this would be extremely popular. Lots and lots and lots of you checking out straight away, multi-buying on different units. Remember, you can have as many metres as you want. At the moment, um, I will tell you when we're really limited on this one, but be aware, if you do want more than half a metre, then you need to absolutely check it out now. I know that this is going to be an early sellout collection. You know, sometimes days when we come in and we're saying we're launching a fabric collection, I get really excited about different projects that we're going to bring in and use it for. Whereas this, I think this is going to be a one shot. Buy it whilst you can on the launch because I don't even know whether this has been bundled for, for collections. I think this is going to be sold out before we know it. Seven ninety nine and a half dollars metre. That's very, very popular. It is like the flagship, the face of the collection, isn't it? Right, let's jump to this one. So we had this Spriggs earlier on with the this sort of duck eggy um, background. This is FSYH42 cat. And this one's more of like a taupe background. The reason I, I, I say that, it's, it's soft pink, but it's slightly more taupey. There's um, a pair of boots that I really want there are this, exactly this colour. It's taupe, it was called taupe. Seven ninety nine. I'm desperate for some new winter boots now. It's getting wintry, isn't it? Seven ninety nine a half metre. By the way, everybody, Kat has still got her flip flops on. For anybody who was concerned, six a.m. this morning, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop in. Still in her flip flops. Six a.m. in the cold. It was like eight degrees this morning, and it was pitch black. Um, no, they're not. Sorry, was that my head? Come on in. Can you see? Are they hearts? I don't think they are. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, I haven't curled the back of my hair. Is that what you, everybody just saw? My roots. I'm sorry, I'll brush my hair at the back if I'm going to do that. 7 a half metre. Did you hear them shouting? Whoa! Okay. We've literally got one, two, three, one, two, three, four more. How many, how many more mega bundles are left? Very, very, very limited. Don't want to put a number on it, Cap's saying. I can tell you don't want to put a number on it. Don't want to put anybody off. You're thinking, oh, there's only one, then I'm never going to get it. Still, you still can get it. Still can get the whole mega bundle. They are all, hang on, let me try and angle it better so you can see them all. I just keep taking all the stickers off though if I do this, one second. Oh, in fact, can you show it from um, a different angle, please? Just so you can see all of these different fabrics. So I'm trying to lift them all. There's still chance to get these. If you want the mega bundle, it will sell out today. So do not hesitate on that one. All six meters 12 half meters or 24 fat quarters just for 94.99 get it home and see it for yourself it's absolutely gorgeous um it's the perfect perfect way to get a bit of a taster of lynette anderson if you've never have before if you've never heard of her before have a look on her social media um or have a look on the website because there's so many if you have a look on google or have a look on the web there are so many different articles about her. She is world renowned for collections of, of fabric. She's designed 24 different fabric collections. She's got huge ranges of buttons and fabrics, um, embroidery she's really popular with. She does books. She's a teacher. 
it's just amazing. It's just 94 99 for that whole mega bundle. Right, this one is, oh, you do get a bit of a saving as well with that, um, with the mega bundle. So this one's OBYH76. These are little hearts. They're all little hearts just scattered around. Absolutely beautiful. It's called Flower Splash. I thought they were little hearts. They do look like little hearts. Sorry, it's... um. Seven pounds, 99. They are little hearts, aren't they? Little scattered hearts. What about for toys? What about for dresses on, uh, on dolls and toys? They'd be so pretty. And the rosy rabbit that we had. Just the inside of Flopsy Ears. Oh, honestly, it's going to be such an exciting day today. We have got loads coming up. Obviously, we're all waiting for this collection. We've known for, well, since around well, months, in fact, probably uh, since July, when Lynette Anderson started doing sneak peeks of this collection. Uh, of course, we did everything in our power to get it here in the UK before anybody else. As far as we're aware, please let correct us if we're wrong, um, but we've had a really good search this morning. Can't find anywhere else. Anywhere else. Um, oh, this is the wrong one. This is OBYH76. Um, right, so that one, I'll tell you what item code is on this one, and that might help. Or do you know which one you want to do next? Do you know that it's this one? Well, let's just do that one. Let's do this one because this, if you say it's... I'll put that sticker on here. Um, no, it's not that one. Bear with. Bear with, bear with. Um, this one doesn't have a sticker on. Hang on, they all should, because I did all these yesterday. <laughs> so they should have stickers on. It's just that the stickers keep falling off. Um, this one's OKYH54. Can we do that one? That looks right. This is the Cottage Leaves Vine Fabric. Is the one that says hearts in? Because the other one was definitely like scattered hearts, wasn't it? There's only three fabrics left, so we should be able to, um, between us, work out which are which. That's just £7.99. £7.99 and a half metre. That's your leaves vine. And that's a really lovely sort of sagey green, isn't it? Honestly, all of our complementary fabrics are going to look amazing with this. We'll get through those very, very quickly. Loads of you checking out on this. Keep going through. Remember, hello, Sharon. Sharon is here. It's 5.35. Oh, you got a glass of wine in hand. Sunshine Coast Day, Sharon. Do you, have you heard of Lynette Anderson, Sharon? She's from Queensland. And she's a really, really famous quilt designer and fabric designer. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Um, a lot of people are managing to find our website. Fantastic. Exactly the same as before, www.sewingstreet.com. So this one, we're not sure what it is, are we? Okay. What about this one? This one says QRYH29. No, it sounds like that one, to be honest. This one looks like deep water, do you think? I think that looks like that one. I'll just show Kat and we'll try and get it because I want to make sure that everybody gets the, the correct fabric. Right, let me pop that there. So this one we've seen in the uh, mocha colorway, the plum colorway it was called. This one's called Deep Water. So this is your Wallflowers Deep Water, 7.99 and a half metre. And I love that grid in the background. Very, very subtle. But works really, really well, doesn't it? They're absolutely beautiful. I knew that everybody would love them. I, I know that um, this is brand new to us here at Sewing Street, but Lynette Anderson uh, is 
world renowned. So I think we're very, very proud to be able to have any of her collections here, let alone her latest 2020 just literally launched this collection and we are hot of the press in the UK. Type in Lynette on the website, no matter where you are on the website, and all of these fabrics will come up, as will the Mega Bundle. So just type in Lynette and you'll see the whole of the range on there. Brilliant. So if we are, if we are doing it by process of elimination, I've got a leaves and I've got hearts. I've got the green leaves and I've also got the heart one. Yay! What is the item code number? I've got OKYH54. Right, there we go. It's either that one or that one, cat. If that helps. This one first. The one that you can see with these lovely little ditzy hearts. Right, this one. Petal soft teal fabric. No, I've got two completely different stickers. I've got OKYH54 or OBYH76. <laughs> I will work this out after the show. You don't need to worry. I'll put those there. Um, just £7.99 a half metre. That's your soft teal. Definitely the one that you're getting, though. These are called petals. They're like little ditzy hearts. Absolutely adorable. For just £7.99 a half metre. The last one I have from process of elimination is leaves vine fabric. I just love this salvage as well. Remember, this is the one that we saw on her Instagram with all of those lovely little swans on um, the lovely sagey green. Very, very popular indeed. Seven, 99 and a half metre. Oh, I'm so relieved. Right, we've got to all through all of the pieces and you've still got chance, all of the uh, the fabrics and you've still got chance to get the mega bundle, which is brilliant. So if you love everything that you see here, you can't make up your mind on which ones you want to get. Absolutely take advantage of this. You're getting all of these half meters pre-cuts. The warehouse have been working all over the bank holiday weekend to be able to um, to be able to get these to you especially for this bank holiday. Well, I say bank holiday, it's now just a Tuesday, isn't it? But they're working all over bank holiday to be able to pre-cut these so they're ready to go. Beautiful autumnal colours, really warm and fresh, but also got neutrals without being boring. It's still got excitement. It's still got really, really lovely motifs for fussy cutting and for different projects. Yeah, Sharon's heard of Lena Anderson. She's from Queensland, Sharon. Right, so that is your mega bundle. It's $94.99 now. In fact, I will keep these out, you know, because what I'm going to do is I am going to just shimmy these over slightly. We've got an amazing complimentary bundle, and I must say our team are fantastic at doing this. I'm rubbish at putting colours together. I think I'm getting better, Kat's always told me. I would definitely have picked Misty Blue, but it's because it's my favourite fabric. It, this would go would literally go with everything. Literally goes with everything. It blends in beautifully. So it means that all of your designer fabric is gonna go that bit further. And look, it's £3.49. It's beautiful quality Rose and Hubble fabric. It's going to make your Lynette Anderson fabric sing. It's gonna look gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, if you're using your beautiful fabrics for the front of cushions, you don't necessarily need to use it for the backing, for your envelope backs. Why not use just a plate, just a solid, or as a binding round the edge, just to really frame your beautiful designer prints? £3.49, that's your misty blue half metre. So you're still getting exactly the same size. Still our Rose and Hubble quality which will go beautiful with the quality of this fabric, obviously. Half a metre looks like that. 112 wide for just 3.49. I told you it's good value, isn't it? Hence why we wanted to offer all of these complementary colours, as it will just mean your fabric's going a bit further. Now the next one is your green. Is it like um, a 
khaki green. Again, I'm just going to place this over the top so you can see how it will really draw on some of these lovely greens that you've got. It will look nice with the vine one. Your khaki green. All of these are available, by the way, are, are always on our website. If you type in 100% cotton, you'll always find these solids. Just a quick reminder of some of the colours that we think are going to complement beautifully. Sometimes it's hard to do that when you're looking at smaller pictures on the web. Although now, now that we've done this bit of an update, I think the pictures are larger, aren't they? So you can see a bit clearer. Um, although it's still quite hard. So our team have done it for you, done the hard work for you. Just mixing in, I mean, that one would look lovely with this one. What about with your vines? It's up to you if you want to do it like um, as a bit of a, more of a, a contrast, they look lovely. Okay, we've then also got your nude. Great base, really nice to be able to do a plique on top of. I know a lot of uh, Lynette Anderson, Lynette Anderson does beautiful applique projects as well. So you could take elements from the Swan Cottage fabric uh, and applique onto just a, a nude background. I think it works much better than if we were to use, say, a start white with this. I think it works really, really well with, with nude. Paul likes nude. Just 3.49 a half metre, what you like. What's he like, hey? £3.49, beautiful quality rose and hubble cotton, 112 wide, really affordable today. So that's your nude colour. We've then also got, is this called cream? FGLJ35, cream. Again, would look beautiful with your Swan Cottage. Brightens it all up, doesn't it? Brightens it all up. Who's up there with you? Every single one of them is gorgeous. Just three pounds, 49 and a half metre. We've also got the pinks. What do you think to these two? Oh, I'd get both of them. That is really nice. Your blush. You're um, trying to um, compete with me with my party trick of knowing all the names of these solid fabrics, Paul. 349. You've got party tricks. He's got lots of jokes anyway. And he's good at the magic one. Remember the one with the uh, cave facet wall, wall panel? What's your dance, Paul? Oh, uh, we can do the, um, when you bend right down and kick your legs forwards. I can't do that. I can't do that one. Morning, Christine. How are you this morning? Is everybody finding the, um, subtitles funny again? Have there been any bloopers? These guys on, these are actually professionals today. Yesterday, all I had was constant giggles in my ear saying, you've got to read these subtitles. It's hilarious. I did spend all night last night. I did go to bed until like 10 o'clock last night because I was just laughing so much at yesterday's subtitles. <laughs> oh dear. Three forty-nine and a half metre. I, we are being professional today. We're being very professional today. We've got a brand new guest coming in in about five minutes. Lots of things to do. What's boy? Oh, it's not. It's called Rose. ADLJ80 is your item code number. All of them, just so you know, will come with a sticker on like this and that's your item code so if you type that into the search engine on our website and um, it's the one that you can see at the top of the graphics there then you'll always be able to get this color so if there's a certain color that you love that goes really well with it once you get it home and you think oh i just want another half meter of that you'll always be able to get it on our website these are ones that we constantly stock which is great to know isn't it because um when you're looking at this quality, you know that you want to consistently have that quality. It's like when you buy a Gutemann or an Aurifil thread, you know if you buy that number again, it's going to be the same, exactly the same colour and quality. And then the last one is School Grey. We're really struggling to get greys in at the moment. Very, very popular indeed. Three forty-nine and a half metre. 
100% cotton, 112 wide, half a metre, loads of things that you're going to be able to do, whether you're using it for bag linings, whether you're using cushion backs, whether you're appliqueing on top of it, whether you're using it just as spacers and blender fabrics on your quilts, it will mean that all of your beautiful designer fabric is going to go that bit further, but this is complementing all of your designer Lynette Anderson fabrics perfectly, just £3.49 and a half metre for that one. Right, just a quick reminder for anybody who is struggling on the website this morning, don't panic, it's literally exactly the same. We haven't got a new website, there's just been a couple of updates, little tweaks on mainly the Jewelry Maker page, but it means that ours is a bit clearer actually. So if you go onto your normal search engine like Google or Ask Jeeves, <laughs> is that still a thing? Yahoo or Bing? There I am, just talking. Type in www.sewingstreet.com. Enter. It looks like Jewelry Maker. It's not. Click play. There we are. That's how live it is. There's my early bird. If you can shop catalogues as well, just like normal at the top there, um, you can also go through all of those half meter fabrics, all of the solids, anything from today's show. Um, all of the pages are there and it's all sewing things. No jewellery, all sewing things. Don't forget, this bundle uh, is extremely limited. It is, I think, going to be the only day that you can get this. Normally when we launch a fabric collection, we start to say, right, what quilts are we going to get guest designers to come in and design? What bags are we going to do? What ones are we going to use? Whereas actually, I don't think we've put any of this aside for projects, which is a bit concerning because we're now down to, well, less than five. There is literally the most limited number of mega bundles I think we've ever had for a launch. £94.99 and you're getting the whole sh shebang, the whole range. It doesn't, it, it doesn't surprise me because you can't get it anywhere else in the UK. Uh, if you know anybody that's a quilter or a sewer, you know somebody that loves Lynette Anderson, um, absolutely tell them about our collection because there's nowhere else that you can get it. The most popular half meter is the flagship one. The most popular is this flagship fabric. It's beautiful. So we've only got 15, 15 meters left. 15 meters left. That's 30 units left. We got the most of this one and we're now down to less than, um, well, 30 units. Majority of them are down to less than 30 units, which is not going to be enough to go around. Especially if somebody wants, right, I want three metres and, and so do I, and I want four metres. If you're thinking of bigger projects, I would definitely go with half a metre more than you are possibly thinking just because of how limited it is. I'd hate for you to be going through a project and think, just a bit short, wish I got another half a metre, because then we're saying, sorry, it's sold out, and where else are you going to get it from? It's not like, oh, well, I can just do a search online and get it anywhere in the UK. As far as we're aware, we're the only company in the UK that is stocking it at the moment, which is very exciting. But also, I just want to be realistic that if you are thinking of making larger projects, grab as much as you can, whilst you can. It's only 7.99 and a half metre. Amazing. Another item. What? What were you thinking, Kat? Ah, of course. It's time already. <gasps> right, so... Coming up in the next hour, look at our new studio audience. Aren't they just the best studio audience ever? We adore them. We absolutely adore them. J'adore these. It's the first time that we've had these kits in. They're absolutely beautiful. This is the Crafty Kit Company. And we've got gorgeous Steph coming to demonstrate them. It's the first time that she's been on the show. It's the first time that we've done anything like this. Um, the rainbow as well. In this first hour, we're going to be focusing mainly on the rainbow and the beehive. And then later on, we're going to be looking at the little hexy, uh, the little hexy, the little hedgehog, and all of the, uh, the bunnies as well. So they're coming up. Right, whatever you do, do not go anywhere because it's going to be such an exciting show. Stay with us for Steph. She's going to be joining me in the next few minutes. But over the next couple of minutes, make yourself familiar with the uh, the new sort of formation of the websites. It should be virtually exactly the same as last as yesterday and the day before. Um, but if 
if you do want to make the most of any of the Lena Anderson fabrics, this is the time to do it. Check out your baskets, but be back with us in the next few minutes as we're welcoming Steph from the Crafty Kit Company. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. There are two ways to shop with us, either via our website, which is www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down past the live programme and either click on the Shop Our Catalogue banner to shop via category, or shop today's products by scrolling through the list under the email newsletter sign-up form. The other way to shop is via our UK call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. There are two ways to shop with us, either via our website, which is www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down past the live programme and either click on the Shop Our Catalogue banner to shop via category, or shop today's products by scrolling through the list under the email newsletter sign-up form. The other way to shop is via our UK call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favorite sewing magazine. Every month you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides, suitable for all skill levels, to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Shh, don't tell anyone, but I'll be on Sewing Street soon.
And look who it is, Mark! Did you see that advert, the last advert? I absolutely adore Mark Francis. He is literally one of the nicest people you could ever, ever meet. I, met him, I did meet him by coincidence, because you know I sing. He was actually playing the piano at a wedding fair last year before he was on Sewing Bee, because he lives down the road from me. So we were both playing at um, the same venue and I was singing and he was playing the piano. And we had to keep taking it in turns because we were both mus musicians. In the end, we said, should we just do a duet together? And, and we did, and then we got chatting and then uh, said about who was into sewing. Uh, and then, yeah, he was obviously on Sewing Bee. So it's really, really exciting that he's gonna be here. He's here on Saturday. So please show him so much love because I know he'll be really, really nervous. Um, but he's amazing and he's gonna be a, a brilliant addition to our Sewing Street family. So please show him lots of love. Now, speaking of showing lots of love, we've got a brand new guest in today. And uh, I mean, they speak for themselves. These are just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous kits. Um, whether you want to do the, the the one that's in the embroidery hoop, this is all needle felting, it's a new technique. You may have seen Delphine doing something similar with needle felting, we've had a bit of an introduction to it, um, but I've never seen anything like these before. The actual sort of toys and the creatures are just amazing. This hour we're going to be focusing mainly on the rainbow. Obviously I think this has been extremely, extremely popular for the Crafty Kit Company over the last few months as you can imagine. So this has been one of the most popular kits and the beehive. Now, to me, as a novice of needle felting, I would think I am never going to be able to do this, but Steph is here to demystify it all for us. In the next hours at 11 o'clock, we're gonna be going through the hedgehog, which I know he's already got so many fans. Everybody has loved those hedgehogs. And your little rabbits. Your little rabbits, they're absolutely gorgeous. So it's the same bunny rabbit, just different ears. I absolutely adore them. So, um, as I say, this hour we're gonna be focusing mainly on these two, but if you want to buy all four kits, well I say all four kits, there's actually five kits because you're getting also a beginner's felting bundle which includes extra extra uh, bits and bobs. So let me go through. They come so beautifully presented in a box like this. So what a great gift for somebody as well. And it is designed to have everything that you need in here to get started. I'm gonna open up these kits later on with Steph um, so we can go through exactly what you're getting. But she has told me you get everything you need. You get the wool, you get the felting needles, you get the foam mat to work on, you get the paper wings for your lovely little bees, and then you also get your full color instructions. Plus, not only will you get a video tutorial from Steph that when you purchase the kit, you'll have today's show to watch back on YouTube at any point. Uh, it isn't just this one at this price though. You're also gonna get the rainbow kit, everything that you need inside to get going. So that's the rainbow one, which makes this. You're also going to get your baby bunny to make our little baby bunny. Now, whether you want to do them with big, long, floppy ears or sticky up ears, it's up to you. Um, whether you want to do your baby Hedgehog, you can do them all. What about gift ideas for Christmas? I mean, you've got five gifts here sorted, haven't you? Everything's in there. Start a new hobby or start a new craft. Um, you are saving, by the way, £17.96. Now, you also get in here this one, which is fantastic. What I would suggest is, uh, I mean, we have got this available on its own, but I like this working in conjunction with all of the others because basically you're getting even more of your wool, even more of the felt to be able to play around with. So um, you can add little carrots maybe for the, the rabbits, or you can add little accessory friends. What about like little woodland mice or whatever you want to make. You've got your beginner's felting bundle as well. It's exclusive to us here at Sewing Street. Um, in fact, it's so exclusive that it's actually not even on the website yet. So what you need to do is go on to www.sewingstreet.com and type in the item code, which you can see at the top of the screen there. So please, 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 please jot that down. It's I N 
XC04. INXC04. As soon as you type that in, it, have you checked, Paul? It should appear there. INXC04. It will appear there. Amazing. And then you can get the whole shebang. All one, two, three, four, five kits for less than £60. That is brilliant value for money. And it's exclusive, exclusively uh, available for us today. All of these for £59.99. Amazing. So that's the Mega Bundle. As I say, you're saving nearly £20 on that one. If you do just want to go for the beginner's felting bundle, we're going to learn all of the techniques with Steph. She's going to have, we're having a full masterclass today. Whatever you want to know, please message in because this is a new technique to me too. So I'll try and ask her as many questions that I can think of during the show. But if you have any messages for Steph, please do get them in. So this one is $19.99 and inside you're getting your, your, your wool, you're also getting your three needles in a reusable tube, two foam pads and a wooden handle felted tool, all included. They're just so beautifully presented, aren't they? Absolutely beautifully presented. I love these boxes. And I think if, if you are uh, gifting for people, this is a really lovely gift. To, to offer because something that they're going to keep I think they're just amazing to, to have as almost like ornamental actually but also what a great hobby and a great skill to get into for less than 20 pounds I think that's fantastic so that's your beginner felting bundle um the ones that we're going to be introducing this hour and we're going to be demoing is the beehive which is Paul's favorite Got to save those bees, he's saying. Love the bees. So 100% wool, needle felting wool, your needle felting needles, your phone mat to work on, your paper wings, and your instructions. 15.99. Tell you what, that is such good value for money, isn't it? That is such good value because the wool itself is so super soft. It really, really is. When I think of felt, and you think of like um, felt, uh, like acrylic felt, and um, felt that you get very affordably and it feels all scratchy or you could tear it and it sort of it, it falls apart this is different this isn't like that sort of felt this is wool it's absolutely beautifully soft 15 pounds and 99 pence so that's the beehive and then the last kit that i just want to mention before we get steph on is this one now over the last few months for obvious reasons i think Rainbows have just been getting us through, haven't they, the last few months. Being able to see rainbows in windows and rainbows um, all over the UK has just been amazing. So whether it be, this might be a nice gift for somebody who you know has been a frontline worker over the last few months or working in the NHS, or I've got, um, and I've always had this picture that says, um, do you know what, I can never remember the quote when I come to say it on air, uh, about the, you always need, without a rain, can't have a rainbow without a bit of rain. Something like, is it something like that? And I love that because, yeah, you don't get rainbows without a bit of rain. And you could almost, you could still embroider any sayings that you have or something still round, couldn't you? Make it really personal, but they're beautiful. I mean, look at how three-dimensional it is. I'm going to have a go at this one. This is going to be the one I do. And it's $13.99. Everything that you need is in there. Your wool for your needle felting. Your white felt fabric. You also get your needle and thread. You get the embroidery hoop included. You get your felting needles, your foam pad, and your instructions. I did not know that this was $13.99. I thought this was $19.99. I'm absolutely going to get this. And even, um, I wonder whether Steph knows that we're that low. That is really, really affordable. So, should we get her on? Now, I know that um, Jo, who's the founder of the company, she lives way up in Scotland. Um, so, because Steph lives down the road, she's like, come on, you can come and do the show. But I know that Jo will be watching and she wanted to send in a little message for everybody who's watching today's show. So, this is uh, a little bit more from the founder of, of the company. This is Jo. Hi, everybody. I'm just popping in to say hello introduce myself, tell you a little bit about the Crafty Kit Company. My name's Jo, I'm the founder of the Crafty Kit Company and we've been designing and selling craft kits since 2012, so eight years this year. We design and sell a range of craft kits including knitting, sewing, 
needle felting and cross stitch kits. And today, the wonderful Stephanie Lester is going to show you how to create some amazing creatures from wool. Now, if you're watching this, you've no doubt already discovered the joy of crafting and possibly needle felting, although it's a new craft for lots of people. Crafting in all its forms is relaxing, it's mindful, it's therapeutic, and let's face it, it's something that we've all needed a bit of over these past few months. So Stephanie's going to show you how to get from this lovely soft wool to this little beehive with bees on it. It's amazing. It's like magic from this to this. And she's also going to show you how to create this little guy. The fabric on here actually comes from the teddy bear factory, that famous teddy bear factory in Germany. You know, the bears with the buttons in their ears. It's all the way from there. So enjoy the show and see you soon. Hello, Steph. It's so Hi. lovely to have you here. Thanks Thank for you having me. Us. How are you? I'm How was well. your long commute? <laughs> yes, I know. It's brilliant. My God, perhaps I should come in every day. I know. We'd love to have you every day, especially with kits like this. So tell us a bit about yourself first. Yes. Before we start talking about the Crafty Kit Company, okay. what's your background with needle felting or crafting in general? Yes. So for the last three years, I've been a professional needle felter. I sell my creations. Okay. Um, prior to that, um, I've done every craft under the sun. Um, I was an interior designer for a while. So, you know, done everything from knitting, sewing, embroidery, you name it. But when I found needle felting, I found my medium. And mm. I was like, yeah, I love this. The creatures that you can make, I mean, they're just fabulous. <laughs> are so, so cute. They really, really are absolutely gorgeous. So a lot of people were sort of saying to you after you made your creations that, do you do kits? Because I want to have a go at making right. them. And you That's didn't right. do your own no. kits, did you? No. So, and I didn't actually want to, I wanted to spend my time actually making. Yeah. So I looked around then for someone who did brilliant kits and found Jo and the Crafty Kit Company. And I loved her kits because they have everything in. Oh, brilliant. So, you know, I can say to people, everything in here, this is how you do it. And I always demo when I do shows. Mm -hmm. So off they go with their kit, which is absolutely brilliant. It does make a difference because I think when you start to think about learning a new craft or learning a new hobby, it can be really expensive when they say, right, you need this tool, mm. you need this tool. And don't get me wrong, with all crafts, I'm sure there are some fancy Oof. tools that you can get in <laughs> gadgets along the way. But also when you're starting out, mm. you just think, right, I don't want something that's going to look like I'm a beginner. I don't want it to be babyish. Yeah. I still want to have a, a really great result, but without breaking the bank and buying all of the equipment. Absolutely. And also, if you want to give one as a gift, yeah. how nice that it is, actually. They open it Christmas Day. There's none of this, oh, I haven't got that bit, or I haven't got that bit. They can get started straight away. Brilliant. So tell us a bit about the Crafty Kit Company. They're based mm. up in Scotland, by the looks of things. Yes. And by Lou's accent, she's <laughs> from Glasgow. From Joe, yeah. She's from, well, she's from East Lothian, is oh, right, where okay. she actually lives. Um, so, yeah, so they've got, um, they've got a lovely shop. Um, a lovely facility up there and been going I think for about 16 years Right. Um, and Jo and her team and she's very much on in fact if you notice on all the kits it's buy one give one they love to give back to charity oh. um, with all that they make from the trade sales and things so I love them they're very much like a win-win everybody mm -hmm. gets something which is just it's now that's the way we should be isn't it oh absolutely absolutely yeah. i agree so the the first hour we're going to be focusing more on the rainbow mm. and the beehive so yes. can we open up yeah. these kits and see what we get inside because right. just seeing from uh, from when uh joe was actually saying right from this you can make this yes. it baffles me <laughs> it's new to me so we've got loads Excellent. of questions for you lovely so let's get all the lovely wool out we'll just not that yeah, I'm sure that's in the right it's place. Right. I know, Paul's <laughs> He's going to be out in a minute telling me off, isn't he? So um, we said about the brilliant instructions. So not only um, does Jo have these fabulous um, oh. pictorial instructions, as well as the description. And as we said, we've actually got a video and it's like a felt along video. It's not me just giving instructions. I'm actually felting along oh, with brilliant. you. So um, you've got all that as well. So even if you don't remember everything today. <laughs> so when you buy the kit, not only will you have today's YouTube mm. to go through, you will have that step by step yes. video tutorial. Absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. 
Brilliant. So that's there. Oh, let me get more of the wool out because I love this wool. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful I know. quality. It's very absolutely soft, isn't gorgeous. it? Absolutely gorgeous. Now you're here in needle felting. We always talk about core wool, okay. and um, that's just it's less processed, and it's what we tend to use to make the bulk out of. Because obviously you want to use the less expensive wool yeah. to actually do the um, um, the core of it, and then you use the lovely coloured wool to actually do all the pretty. I always say painting with wool, okay. so that we can actually paint with all our beautiful colours. So that's actually your colours for your bee. Okay. This is the colour for colouring your um, actual beehive. And this is for doing your little accents, so when you're doing your little grooves going round. You get a lot more than I actually thought you would, actually. Oh, really? It looks a lot of wool. For, yes. You know, quite a compressed... Well, that's the thing about needle felting. It condenses down really, really quickly. So if you get really carried away, you'll end up with a really, really tiny, tiny, very tight And you get a nice ball. little pack. So you get a nice little... And then we get a little... That's our felting mat to protect our surface. Okay. It's the only reason. And the lovely thing about 3D needle felting is you don't need a big mat. So I can do this virtually anywhere. If I'm sitting yeah. on the train or if I'm on the move, if you're in the garden, you don't need to anywhere. have a big no. cutting mat. No. And sometimes I have like a little tray sitting on my lap doing yeah. it. So yeah, nice little space. Plus we've got these gorgeous, gorgeous little wings that oh, you cut out, aren't they cute? They're beautiful. <laughs> they really are. And your needles, you get your three needles. So the idea is you've got um, one needle for stabbing singly, two for either putting in a tool or just taping together and using. So once again, we we're saying about tools, of course there are tools for us to actually put our bits in, but you could actually just use those as okay. they are. So, you know, Brilliant. but yeah, we all love a tool, don't we, and a gadget. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good to get if you started, though, into it, isn't yeah, it? And definitely. I've got a feeling this comes with a bit of an addiction warning. I can oh. imagine it, it gets... Yeah. <laughs> it won't be the first and only project <laughs> no. that you do. Do you know, I'm always jealous when people come and actually take one away for the first time, because you think, I remember that. Yeah. I remember when you create something, you think, yeah. Give me the next one. Give me the next one. It's oh, fantastic. Love yeah, that feeling. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, shall we? Absolutely. Let's get started. So, we're going to focus on the beehive first, yes. and then we'll come to the rainbow we afterwards. Will. So, obviously, you open um, the kit, and the first thing you think is, my goodness, you know, how's this all going to yes. um, turn into a bee? And the great thing is, Joe gives brilliant instructions and tells you how to actually take it. I'm just gonna. You can do it to your to facing you. Oh. you just pull it. That's it. Perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Lovely. There we go. <laughs> now the first thing I always say is look at all your wool and especially the core wool. You want to make sure you've got enough. You saying um, about my God, there's looks a lot like there's there. an awful lot there. Well, it will go very quickly if you okay. watch it. So first of all, um, I'm going to make a beehive. I'm going to make three bees. So I need to take off a little bit to create the bees. bees. So then I know I've got all the rest for making my hive. Now, let me just show you about um, splitting the wall. Because what you might do is make a mistake and hold it really tight together and you'll never pull it apart. That's as ah. tough as anything. What you need to do is go out here, go out here, and then gently it will just fall apart. Oh, easy. There you nice. go. So the like candy floss. Yeah. And that's just because of the actual natural length of the wall. You're actually hand, hand You've got one end and you've got the other end and wool is very strong, as right. we know, so you're just never going to do it. So we're going to leave that for our three bees and then we've got the rest. So what I always do is I love to build up, build up, not just start with one big mass and start stabbing because mm -hmm. it feels like um, it's going to be never ending. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to divide this into three to start with so I'm just going to do my nice little pulling motion. It's quite a nice feeling actually pulling yeah. it apart like that. There do you do go. workshops at all in your area because I <laughs> live very close to you. I'd love to. Oh, well, you know I don't but only because I travel around an awful lot and that was why I started doing the videos. videos. See it's the way especially at the moment yeah. isn't it everybody's saying yeah. demo videos. Absolutely. So that's why I started doing those, thinking, well, everybody can have access yeah. to those rather than, although, you know, lots of people do the um, Zoom videos, don't yeah, they, in, yeah. in workshops, which is going, you know, very well, yeah. I think. Yeah. Wish I'd bought into that then. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I think if I could just go back to March now, yeah. I'd do everything so much oh, different. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to show you um, how to start. This is how I start. Everyone's different. I always say there is no absolute right way or wrong way of doing anything. Okay. It's your way. So the way I'm going to start off, to make it easier so that you're not stabbing forever in a day, is I'm going to tie a knot in it. Which starts off as your nice little core. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to try and make this beehive shape. Yeah. So I'm going to start with that. 
and then I'm just going to wrap the wall around. Let me get my little needle. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the two needles and just show. Um, by just stabbing in, I don't know if you know, but the needles that we're using got little barbs on. Okay. I don't think you'd be able to see that. I think that would actually be too, yeah. Um, and all wool, if you put it under a microscope, has got scales on it. Oh, really? Yeah. So by stabbing the barbs into basically the mixed up wool, which has got scales on, it felts them together. So it's just gradually going in. And if I just do it a little bit, you can see it's just going down a little bit. If I let go, it's, it's attached just very, very yeah. softly. Okay. So we can get our shape going. But very quickly, we are going to create the shape of a beehive. I'm going to get some more. And then by wrapping it round. I going to say, how do you connect that last bit? I don't need to tie it or. Nope. It, that's it, it just the felting. We felt everything together, yeah. even when we had the ears on and everything else. So I'm just going to wrap that round. Stab that in again. And then you can very quickly see that's attached. Yeah. It's very quickly attached. Right. So that's why it's all about how much you're going to felt it to how tight you're going. Because I could go on for ages and ages and that would just get smaller, smaller, tighter and, is that and tighter and tighter. Permanently attached to that. So, so that's so loosely. It's what I call tacked on at the moment. Okay. So I could actually pull that apart if right. I wanted so to. So if you do think, right, I've done this too small, yep. I can it, then pull it, it apart. apart. Pull it apart, start again. It's very forgiving. Ah, that's I love good to it. Know. Yeah, absolutely. So you then just Keep stabbing, and I always say you're moving it around the whole time, assessing how you're actually going, how big you want to be. Now, the brilliant thing in here, in Joe's instructions, is she shows you to look from your hand's point of view as to how big your item is. Uh, so you can very quickly say, oh, gosh, no, I need to add a bit more wall to that, or, oh, I'm a yeah. bit big, I need to stab that in. So we can just the tool that Steph's using by the way this is your three needles you've only got two yeah, in there I've only got two in yes. it's five pound 99 so again yes. really affordable that's the great thing about the multi-tool needles you don't have to put all of them in you can put in as many as you want so you know if you get one which actually takes five or six you can easily just put two in I find lots of people have said to me when I've done shows is that if you hold just the needle um, it can actually be quite difficult for them to grasp so sometimes okay. the tools are actually much easier for them right too. okay yeah or we're just all like a tool <laughs> now one thing that people say to me is do you stab yourself a lot and I don't but that's because I think when you very first start I think you go oh I'm stabbing up and down and you don't have to lift it up very far okay you can just do it nice and down. So you're virtually not even really taking the whole no, of the, the tool just, out. It's just literally coming almost to the side. I'm yeah. just showing there, yeah, and back yeah. in again. So you are really just doing that. You're not lifting it out like this. Because if you go like, out like that, you're much more likely to stab yourself, aren't right. you, than yeah. if you just go. And also, do not worry if it takes you a long time. Because I've been on some masterclass courses with people greatly respect. And they're very slow felters. Doesn't, no, it doesn't, doesn't matter. make any difference but whatsoever. I think, I, that's what I love about this, is that when you're doing something that is a bit more mindful, I think that over, mm. well, I bet over the last few months, you've just been doing loads of this. Oh, then, yes, absolutely. You? I think it's really important. I think it's taught me, certainly over the last mm. few months, I need to do some more things that slow me down a bit. Yeah. Live in a world that's a million miles an hour all the time. And yeah. this, take your time. Yeah, take your time. doesn't matter. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Keep wrapping it round. I think I was really surprised at how affordable these kits are, though. <laughs> Fifteen ninety nine is a really good price for how much you're getting in there. Well, I suppose really you don't need that much wool. No. On all of them, um, and wool, whilst it's you know expensive once it's actually been processed into wool yarn mm -hmm. that then gets knitted into jumpers. Very little processing. I mean, it's been washed and it's been carded. Um, in fact, this is Corriodale wool. The great thing about it is it's quite crinkly, which is why it's lovely for felting. Yeah. Because, I say, the whole process of them being mixed up and then yeah. mixing them up a bit more actually works really well for felting. Right, okay. I think sometimes um, 
on some of the um, beginner's kits, you often get the really smooth merino, which is beautiful, mm. but it will take you a very long time to felt it. So great, but not necessary for a beginner, you know, because you want to get see yeah. something, don't you, just quite oh, quickly. That's it. I, I, it's very satisfying. Like you say, that first when you walk away from a class and say, oh, I've actually made this. Instead of, you know, walking about classes and classes and classes later and still yeah. being like, right, <laughs> so, yeah. I'm nearly I'm, there. Nearly. I might be making it quite soon, yeah, yeah, or something like that. But basically, you just keep stabbing and assessing and moving. And eventually, this will... And now, I'm saying eventually because you need to stab for at least 20 minutes. Okay. To get this hard enough and into the shape. And I'm going to just quickly show you that it's going to look like that. Yeah. Ah, so you can see how that's really compressed yes so i because basically i will keep stabbing that and it will go in and then i'll add another piece of wool right. and then until it's the difference is that's really squishy and that we just bring it slightly to your right hand side that's it there perfect we so then we can Lovely. see it's like a perfect. snowball isn't it yes so that's you can see that's really squishy whereas that's just that bit much. It's still squishy it's not so rock hard it'll take about 20 minutes of yeah 20 of minutes of yeah, yeah. Of stamping. And then you will come with your, and as I say, you can do your nice assessment that, yep, that's about the right size. Brilliant. So let me move that bit over there. And so we come to our next colour, which is our lovely yellow, which we're going to colour. Now, let me just get my single needle. Now, the, the holder, which comes in with the beginner's kit, the thing I love about this is you can actually hold the, that you can actually you. hold the needle. Yeah. Um, Take it out nice and safe. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And then pop it in and then we're good to go. There we go. Lovely. Nice single needle ready to go. So when we're laying on um, the colour, mm -hmm. the best thing to do is to just go in thin layers rather than, you could just take the whole lot and wrap it round, but you'll get bumpy bits and it'll be really difficult to get it nice and Build smooth. It yeah, so it's much better if you're just pulling it out let me just pull a piece off pull it out so that it's nice and and then we will just lay it over and I always like to start with my single needle just to tack it in I always single call needles. it tacking uh, yeah I know what you mean though it's just holding <laughs> yeah it and, and it gives you a chance to then say right okay let me pull that round and say right pull it up lovely and then stab again. The thing is, I love the actual um, basic stabbing motion. It's quite a simple thing, isn't it? Yeah, Basically, yeah. to get some wool and stab it. Yeah. But you can make it as complicated as you like. That's the great thing, I think, about many crafts, doesn't it? That actually isn't you can get going. Is one of these kits that you would say, right, is better? Like, this seems like a really good one, actually, for yeah. someone who is starting out. Yeah. Looking at the rabbit, I would think, oh, my word, they look more advanced to me. They're not. Really? No, no, no. You're still using exactly the same skills in all of these. In fact, I think the only questions I um, got asked specifically was about joining the ears, and I think it's that joining Right, you know, yeah. how easy is it? It is actually really easy to join. Yeah. Um, There's and no stitching. You no, don't stitch them. No, no, absolutely not. You use the wool. Um, and when we do the um, rabbit later, I'll show you, when you join the head to the body, you just use the wool as almost like a staple. Ah. Yeah. Clever, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. It's actually um, a really quite young um, craft. It's been around since about the 1980s. Oh, OK. Um, because wet felting has obviously been around since the Egyptian time, um, but dry felting, needle felting, obviously had to wait for the industrial um, process because these needles are actually out of the industrial machine, which pumps down, does the flat felt. Um, and it was a group that went round one of those processes and were given the needles and some wool, and they thought, hmm, I wonder if I can do something with that. And that was about the 1980s. Oh, so, so it is a really new yeah. craft then, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. And that's when sort of sculptural needle yeah. felting like this um, started coming out and all the different things you can produce. Oh, I'm so pleased that everybody's having a stab at this. Everyone's <laughs> having a go. <laughs> Loads of people checking out on the kits. Excellent. This one's your beehive kit, your graphics <laughs> in. Um, 
Don't forget to let me know, Kat, when you want uh, Steph to move on to the, the yeah. rainbow as well. We'll yeah. try and keep you updated because yes. I know that Tam will run away with us this hour. I know. <laughs> um, what else were I going to say? The mega bundle is available if you are loving this technique already and you want to make the most of all of the kits, you save over £17. £17.96 saving on this. It's exclusive to us as well, that bundle. Um, remember, you'll need to search the code on the website, which is INXC04, um, and it's £59.99 for all of the kits that you see here. The beehive, the baby bunny, the baby hedgehog, the rainbow, and the beginner's felting bundle, which is a great sort of add-on as well, isn't it, to be able to do oh, even more felting. Exactly. I mean, like you mentioned earlier, with the little carrot for the bunny yeah. or a little caterpillar perhaps for the hedgehog. Or you might actually want to just do a little base for them to sit on even. Oh, yeah, can you I know, do? it just gives you that ability. I mean, another nice, easy way to um, needle felt as well, if you've got the extra kit, is if you've got any cookie cutters. You can actually put felt inside and stab inside the cookie cutter and then you've got like a little shape. Oh, that's a really good idea. See, you could do like gingerbread men yeah. when you've got like the orange one in there. Yeah. So you could do that Christmas. if you've got the extra. See, the world is your oyster. <laughs> yes, you could even do some little leaves, couldn't you, for the hedgehog to sit on because that's where you always find them underneath. Yeah, leaves, absolutely. But, that's a um, really good idea. Yeah. So, as you can see, I felt away and um, it's still bobbly. Now, one of the things that I do when I've um, usually got it a bit further than this, but I just want to see how bobbly it is. It's like, if I can just rub over. Okay, um, and what are you feeling for? So all I'm doing is just seeing, is there any hard bits, soft bits? And it actually just helps tamper it down as well, because obviously naturally wool is going to be very fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> and get carried away with us. And then I think, oh, right, okay, yeah, no, that's all, that's all nice even. I can just keep stabbing. But once again, you're going to be doing this for about 20 minutes and adding some more and building it up so that I feel a bit like Blue Peter. Here. Yeah, here's one you made earlier. But once again, right. you can see how much that shrunk by me because that's actually fluffy. And then by the time you've stabbed it in, ah. it's nice and then compact and ready to go. So I'm just, because I want to get on a show, I have to do the groove. Yeah, we've literally got about five minutes <laughs> oh, for the beehives. Oh, lovely, okay? brilliant. Right, okay. So this is where, um, now that we've got our, um, just we've just been generally felting in. So if we actually want to do the grooves or any sort of indentation, basically we can take our two needles. You just shimmy it back to your eyes, Oh, sorry. yes. There you go. Um, yes, we'll there we again. go. Yep, I'll get there. <laughs> if you no, just you're amazing. Stab, stab in the same place, it will create, let me just try and see if that will show, it will create a dent. Just oh, by yeah. stabbing in. Okay. And so I'm going to show you what I'm trying to do. Do so, you find that you, when people start, I think it's muscle memories, but do you find that it aches your hand at the start? Yes, it that does. Before you're feel used to muscles. it. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It? Yeah, yeah. It's that, um, ooh, yes. Yeah. Because it is just thumbs. doing the same, the same um, process. Although I have to say, I, I don't get that much, but yeah. you can see how quickly that's actually. Mm. dented in. Now the reason why I've brought this is because you then very easily can emphasise that dent. I wondered how you did that. I thought it was like a twine yeah, or something. Just but a no, little, it's dent. And it's less is more. The smallest bit you will just felt into your groove and then you can see oh, how gosh, brilliant. you've got that. Now here, here's a little tip. Sometimes we don't remember less is more and we put a huge amount on there and we think, oh my goodness, that's really dark. Don't worry, don't pull it out. Just take a little bit of your bottom colour, just put it over and you will very quickly just make that a nice little fainter line. Ah. So I think more often than not, you know, don't start again. You can just play with what you've got and then, there we go got our little dent and then basically you're going to take it so it's all the way around our little hive. Oh, amazing. Yeah and um, dents all the way around. Once again you take your time uh -huh. because I, I, because I'm a bit like that, I measured how far apart my no, was but you can do. You can just take your time, go around, do your dent, if it's a little bit wrong add a bit more back in again mm -hmm. until you're happy with it and then you've got your hive ready to go. Brilliant. 
Now we need to make our little door. Bees. Oh, the door first. Now, the thing about this one, you'll notice it's got two doors. Yes. When I did the video, I did one and then realised the video wasn't on. Oh, no. <laughs> so it's got a back door and oh, a front there door. You go. But you'll notice that when you watch the video. Because <laughs> I do say, oh, right, okay, here we go again. <laughs> um, so, yes, we do a little door. And this is where you can either do it direct onto your piece. And very quickly, you would um, create a little shape, almost like bend it over, door shape, and pop it on. Or if you didn't feel confident doing it, you could actually do it separately on your pad and then put it on afterwards. If you thought, oh, let me just make sure I've actually got that right before I do that. But then you can just belt it in. And this is just with a single needle, so you can see how quickly that goes on. Yeah. And that's because we've got that nice base that we stabbed on the um, hive. So it goes in lovely and firmly. Not very much. And I always just what, do you tuck, think then with the bottom? To tuck start, it in? I just tuck it in because it's going to be our little bottom, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to go like that. So that will be fine. And once again, what we do with an awful lot of um, needle felting is we love to emphasise our um, little doors and grooves uh -huh. and things. So you just then put a little line round to do that. Now I'm doing this because I obviously need to mention the bees, don't I? You very quickly get a little line round. Is anybody else finding this really therapeutic? <laughs> yes, it is. Do you know, I don't, have, I don't have any sound on at all when I'm doing it. It's almost meditating, you know, yeah. when I'm doing it. I just, I love it. But yeah, so you can very quickly just see you've got... Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Very quickly, you've got a door. So let's talk about our little bees. bees. So let me show you... One way, you can just roll up the wall um, into this little shape, but an easier way is to use a cocktail stick. I'm going to do this over here so you can see. Because you can do it nice and tightly. Oh, good now, idea. Now, this is where I said earlier, if I hold it really close, it's mm -hmm. going to be tight. If I pulled it down here, it would just pull it apart. So if I wrap it round, pull in it tight, wrap it round, pull it tight just keep going that's a really this means it's going to save me doing very much stabbing because it's going to be quite tight and compact there we go just roll that round make sure i don't grab the wall otherwise we'll have one long string take it off take my single needle just stab in my little ends We very quickly got our little shape and we're going to add the um, black and the very luminous yellow to it so we don't need to this is where I go because <laughs> then it gives it that nice compact one thing um, that I do use as well is like when doing the ears for the bunny rabbit Sometimes people struggle to get it nice and thin. Um, once you've actually got it nicely and felted, you get an iron mm -hmm. and iron it flat. <laughs> and then you've got lovely thin ears or oh, whatever yeah. you're doing. So, but just to, I'm aware we're. So you would very, very just add some. Gorgeous yellow around. Great thing about bees is they are fluffy. What is that, sorry? Bees are fluffy. They so, are, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so you don't need to do this. Um, you don't need to felt it to within an inch of its life um, because they are meant to be fluffy yeah. anyway. So, okay. But as I say, there is a video with all of this in great detail. So 
That's really good to know as well. How do I access that? How will I? Is it? Or yep. Is there a link when so you get that's, it in the pack? In fact, the link is from the Crafty Kit Company. All you need to do is to go on to the page with this kit, yeah. and it's there. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, really easy. We are going to have to get some more of these um, kits in. You've got koalas, haven't you? Yes, and you've got I know. the Loch Ness. Yeah. I saw that on the advert. Highland Amazing. cow. Everybody Highland loves cow. a Highland cow. Oh yeah, cow, we need those they? in. In fact, the latest one was a Mr. Mole, who I suspect will be very popular. Oh, yes, I bet that'll be popular. <laughs> so there we go, very quickly. So the nice thing about our bee is he has a little, he has a black head and a, and a white bottom, I think is the... Um... So if you just do yourself a nice little... And we can very quickly... In a little white bottom. So then you're using the needle as well to sort of position it into where yeah. you want. So I find that if I need to gather some up, I twirl yeah. it round and it just gathers up enough and takes it all into that. Conscious of time, so I don't want to go. You would stab that in a bit more, obviously, mm -hmm. and then just to make your little stripes, um, you do just take your bit of wool and you start making stripes. Now, when you're making any kind of um, shape stripe which actually has a strong edge, I always say just stab on that edge rather than stabbing in the middle, right. just stab on the edge, because it just brings the wall. Yeah, that's bringing it into, into a really that. nice, clean line. Yeah, so just enables you to do that. And then I just stab in the middle if it's... There we go. You can say it's kind of tacked on there, taking it around. Can still make it that way? Sorry, yeah, you're going to say. Uh, no, I was just going to say, do you go quite miniature with your needle felting? No, I go big. Right. <laughs> I go for, um, my needle felting is like the ultra realistic. So if you Ooh. have a dog, I will make it look like it's real. Oh, <laughs> right. How do they find you on Facebook or Instagram? Yep. Have you got so a... yes, I'm Stephanie Lester Fibre Artist, you, both Facebook and Instagram. Okay. So you can find me. And in fact, my piece I've just finished is a kestrel with 300 feathers, which is just, yeah, taking me a lot of time. <laughs> oh, word, I bet. Right, I need to find you on um, Everybody will be searching you now. That's so exciting. Okay, so yes. Could you do a life size Paul? He's only small. Yes, to be fair, actually, I do heads. I've done, I've done a Muhammad Ali, just the buff, and, um, and Shakespeare, obviously. Um, oh, yeah, because yeah, you've obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. over yeah. In fact, you? if you go on to the um, Instagram, you'll see the both of them. Yeah, they're oh. on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a life size Paul here. <laughs> Maybe slightly taller, just so you would be able to see what life would be like slightly taller, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Here's some I made earlier, I think, because otherwise that might just go on a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm sorry, rushing your no, time. We'd no. love to have you all sorry. for the whole, of the whole <laughs> of the show. Where did I put those? We'd love to be able to see the rainbow as well. If we have to put it into the later, then Ooh, we've just got three then to do. It'd just be that we won't be introducing it. Um, for some We get rest. straight into the demo next time. Yeah. The yeah, hedgehog, by yeah. the way, the hedgehog. Um, has been very, very popular. <laughs> it's the most popular at the moment and we haven't even demoed it yet. He's coming up in the next hour. He's absolutely adorable. He's 15 99 and he's just the cutest little thing ever. If he goes missing out of the studio, then please don't check my bag. He's so <laughs> lovely. Hedgehogs are popular, aren't they? So, yes, yeah, so you can see how... Oh, um, brilliant. It makes. And um, these lovely little wings... Um, when you've cut Gosh, them out, gorgeous. aren't they gorgeous? So they are so these delicate. individuals that you can cut out, and there's it's four per B, so obviously that's one side. And then when you um, attach them, 
just and again, do you attach them the same way? So how we attach those? Let's see, it's like did I prep one earlier? I'm not sure. May have done. Let me find my scissors. Did I grab? Because what we do is we just do a little slip. Oh, yeah, okay. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> I make a little slit in the side. Okay. Just because you felted it nice and hard, yeah. Um, you can just do a little slit in here, yeah. And then you literally just put a little bit of glue on them, and pop them in, and then they're there. Oh, he's so beautiful! Again, just come over to the right hand side again. There we go. We find you. Yeah. There you go. It's so beautiful. Cute. Really, really cute. Now um, we say about putting them on the hive with pins, but actually. What I did with these ones, make it a bit more robust, is I sewed them. Yeah. I just put thread round through the middle and you can see the little threads right, come out the bottom. bottom there. Just so, so I could pull them out if I wanted to, um, but it just gives them a bit more robust See, front door, back door. <laughs> <laughs> and you have all of the video step-by-step -step techniques where you get the kits as yes, well on the yes. website. Absolutely all of it and far more detail than obviously that I could do here but all those bits yeah all the way through. We have to have to sort of talk through the rainbow one if okay. that's okay. Yeah that's fine because I've got all the different stages there so that Fantastic. we can do that no problem at all. Let's pop this all back. The yeah, rainbow yeah. just so you know is £13.99 and it comes with everything that you need including your embroidery hoop including your white felt fabric Break, including obviously all of your beautiful rainbow colour wool, uh, your needles, uh, your needle and thread, your embroidery hoop, your felty needles that come in the tube, the, the, the base again, your foam pad. I think that would make such a beautiful gift for somebody, uh, especially as you get the video tutorial. We always have it, don't we, that we have uh, friends and family members and people that we know that say, oh, I'd love to make that or I'd love to get involved in that and if yeah. they haven't got a sewing machine yeah. then this is a really Perfect. really lovely project yeah. for somebody to Absolutely. get crafty. And we say from age 10 as well um, and I said actually the biggest thing for youngsters is just the time it takes to get somewhere yeah because they want to see you know when Results you say please do quick. this for 20 minutes they're a bit mm, yeah. yeah so that's the biggest issue really with youngsters. So, once again, yeah, we've got the brilliant instructions video as well. Yeah. Showing us how to do. So, let me just quickly talk you through this, as you can see. We've got about 10 minutes. Okay, that's fine. So, the way I started, let me bring it in so you can see it in the middle. Yep. Fabulous, there you go. thank Yay. you. <laughs> I'll get, by the end, I'll get it right. <laughs> <won't I? laughs> no, you're amazing. You're amazing. So, I put my hoop and then I just put my little pins so that I can see exactly the area that I've got that I can So you get this do. backing in the kit, don't you? Yes, felt. so the felt's in with the kit, the hoop's in with the kit, all of the colours. I'm just open one of the little packs. I love that they come in little packs Aren't like this cute? and everything. Yeah, I mean, I love the boxing and everything anyway. The They're just stunning. Gorgeous. And these colours are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So, And the good thing here is because we've just got really little lines to do. You don't need that much. You'll have loads over. Yeah. I think we've had people say they've made little brooches out of the extra and oh, things like that. Brilliant. So, yeah, lovely, lovely idea. Um, so, yeah, so then I just spot exactly where it's going to be because I don't want to go outside because obviously we're going to do the rainbow, you're going to add your clouds. And as you said, you can actually add someone's name or, and, you know, there's room yeah. to do all that as well, which is lovely. Then what I do is I measured, um, it's about six millimetres um, between each, and I just went round with a little chalk pen. In the appropriate colour. Oh, of course. <laughs> I can tell the sort of colour you can. Yeah, very prepared. Um, because I just, for me, I'm very much the, I think Delphine says it, doesn't she? Measure um, twice, cut, cut once. once. Yeah. I'm very much that person. I can't so, believe you've never met Delphine. No, you I know. She lives the just road. down the road from me. It's crazy. But that just goes to show these days, doesn't it? Yeah. We travel all over the world and then we don't know someone who lives just down the no, road from it's... us. It's absolutely bizarre. But, um, yeah, I shall make a point of that. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Um, so, yes, yeah, so just to talk you through what we would do, yeah, we've got here, is I would stab a line around the um, colours that I've actually drawn here. So just very quickly showing that I would take that amount. Oh, so really small yeah. amount. So yeah. as you can see here, this is what I've done. I've done the small amount all on the line. Some will get a bit thicker, but that's fine. Just so it's the inside of the line is defined so that then I can come back with the bigger amount and fill it in. in. As you can see on this side, 
where I've actually filled it in. It just means you've got that definition, right, that's that bit up to there, up to there. But otherwise, I'm very prone to actually go outside the lines. <laughs> so is that similarly to how you did the, the, yeah. the bees, where you just do so, it on the so edge? So the only difference here is because we're doing it just into a very thin piece of felt rather than going actually into, um, even into the bee, it's a bit thicker. And someone described yeah, this cool. to me as tickling rather than stabbing. Which is kind of, because you that. really are just sort of tickle the top. Yeah, tickling it in rather than stabbing it in. One thing, <laughs> one thing I will say, um, people say about breaking needles. The only reason you'll break a needle is because you put it in, move it and pull it out at a different angle. If you go in at an angle and out at an angle, you're fine. Okay. If you go in and out, just whatever angle you go in at. That's what you come out at. Okay. So I say that because I'm doing that at an angle here and someone might be having a heart attack okay. thinking, what's she doing? She's going to break the Yeah, angle. yeah. But not if I go in and out at the same. And you can see how that wall gets taken in really quickly just by me doing a quick stab. It just goes, follows that route. And you can even have the thinnest line there. I mean, that's the thinnest line, isn't it, that I've drawn do you think it helps to do it on a flat surface? I know that you're belting on telly right now, so obviously mm. you're aware of trying to get everybody to see it. But do you do it in your hand? So, or? No, when I do this, I would do it down on a, on, on a flat surface, down on a map. The only time I'm lifting up is when I'm doing like, the 3D pieces yeah. where you're like, oh, I need to get have a look yeah. at that. But something like this, which um, is, is kind of like relief 2D, isn't it? I would actually do it down on the map okay. because it just... and. Uh, it just it looks quite cute on the other side as well, I always think. Yeah, but it um, does. you can tell that you've gone too far if you've really felt it into the bit underneath. Okay. If you've really felt it and you're really struggling to take it. I mean you will to a certain extent, but if it's real struggle, you've done it too much and just think tickling. Okay. <laughs> just tickle as you go in. And um yeah, so just do your line and then you would just do the as I say, the next line, and that is all you're doing is just defining the line that you will then colour into. And even though the wall's all over the place, providing I'm just stabbing where the line is, that's where the wall's going to go. And I can pull it tighter, and then suddenly the line appears. Nice and delicate. Now, one thing I do is I put my nail there mm -hmm. and then I just stab down the nail because that's giving me a Be nice tight your line. Finger. But yeah, so that, because my nail's there, then it's you, protecting my finger, yeah. but it just gives me the ability to do that. That's what I, my little, <laughs> do it at your own peril. <laughs> Okay, and uh, so if I go to this but, other one. And then, yeah, then you've got these lovely so there, clouds, haven't oh, you? Oh, yes, absolutely. So the great thing is that we are going to put about four. And the nice thing there is that because they're poofy clouds, you don't have to do very much. You can just fold them over so that they're folding in the edges and pop them down. And once again, just felt round the edge of where you want the cloud to go rather than felting in the middle because you can felt it down in the middle later once you've decided that it's in the right place. I'm a great fan of tacking things down and thinking, yes, no, I think that's quite a nice place, that's fine where it is. And then just tack round a bit more. And you can leave them as, you know, relief out as um, bumpy as you want them to, depending on the effect. I mean, I've actually done quite a big lumpy bump cloud there. <laughs> That's a technical term for a cloud, obviously. <laughs> no, we don't really technical terms. Tickling, not stabbing. Tickling, not stabbing, <laughs> yeah. Bumpy, dumpy. And then We're excited to see your subtitles on yeah. this <laughs> I shouldn't even think about the subtitle. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be that's gonna be my amusement this evening, absolutely. Oh my lord. Oh dear. And so yeah, just to show that then you put a little white tone on the top to show the light, sort of the sun reflecting on the top of your little cloud. As you can see here, we've got the oh. little white bit that just gives that 
It's nice so, little accent. You can just about see on the camera there. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. I think this would be a really lovely wall hanging, or as I oh, said yes. earlier, for anybody who works, who has worked or works at the NHS and, or yeah. frontline worker, I think, especially over the last few months, it'd be beautiful to give to somebody this, yeah. wouldn't they? So easy to hang a little ribbon. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. I love these hoops. I've had so many people who have, have, have messaged in lovely messages for you. Uh, someone has also said, oh, we go onto the Jewelry Maker website because there's loads of ribbon on there. <laughs> so whilst you're on there, it's the same PP. You, you absolutely grab some ribbon. You could always put like little beads and things on. You could yes. embellish even more, couldn't you? Yes, you could. Absolutely. Make them very pretty. Lovely little decoration then. Lots of people have found you on Instagram oh, and social been. media. They're saying... Someone's just said, oh, my goodness, you are an amazingly talented oh, lady. Oh, thank you. What a great demo today. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. So, Amazing. yeah, just to say you would then put, do you want me to do, what time are we doing in terms of I how think much? we're there? Five minutes. I think we've got five right. minutes. So just to show them, once you've actually um, got that sorted, it really is a case of actually putting it inside the hoop. And then, yeah, show. shall I show this? So, and... The great thing, this is why I do um, my line round, is so that I can pull it nice and tight now. That's the lovely thing, isn't it, about a hoop? You pull it nice mm -hmm. and tight, even if there's a little wrinkle. Um, and when you turn it over, you will then have these little handkerchief corners, which you just snip off um, and then get... Um, and the thread and the needle is also in the oh, kit. Oh, really? Yes. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. to detail, yeah. isn't it? For you to just do a nice big stitches all the way round draw them up and then you've got your really lovely little neat back as well so it just really I ties it in yeah it? absolutely whether I, you're gifting the kit to somebody or gifting this mm, to somebody yeah lovely and neat. it just gives that but they say the threads in there and everything for you Brilliant. to do all of that i mean i just think that's gorgeous i mean i did think little name but yeah. when you said like little saying and now you've mentioned beads oh Ooh. yes oh it's a bit of sparkle <laughs> a bit of glistening on oh. the top yeah, good idea. Raindrops coming down. Oh, or raindrops, you? yes. Oh, Love that. There's yeah. loads that you could do. Absolutely. Absolutely, Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so, yeah. so much anyway this hour. We're okay. going to come back with... Yes. Hedgehog yes. and the bunny, which yeah. they're both just absolutely adorable. We love them. So thank you very, very much. You're welcome. And um, don't forget, by the way, the mega bundle is available and you're saving £17.96. Yeah. There you go. I mean, that's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's amazing value. All of that and your extra. So it's not just doing what's there. It's all the extra bits. Don't get your cookie cutters out. I was going to say, I bet there's loads of demonstrations online, isn't there? But oh, there's yeah. so Absolutely. many different things you can find online. So with the yeah. extras as yeah. well, because trust us, once you get going, yeah. you are going to want it. You're going to get really creative. Somebody's messaging saying, oh, we want a pig. Oh, Look, you're pink yes. In there. Oh, there do you all go. sorts. Yeah, Loads absolutely. you could do. But I also like the idea of using that extra bundle to be able to do like stands or little mm. trees and leaves and yeah, things for them as well. Yeah, set on. Yeah. Beautiful. So that's your whole mega bundle. Make the most of that. Check out as soon as you can. Thank you so, so much. We'll you're see welcome. you in an hour. Okay. Do not go anywhere because we've got tools galore before we get Steph back in the next hour. So stay with us. We're back after this. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you.
So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Tell anyone, but I'll be on Sewing Street soon. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step by step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories, and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric, and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Welcome back, welcome back. What an amazing show. We're all saying, right, we're all having a go. We absolutely love it. I'm so, I'm so excited for the hedgehog. I just love that hedgehog. Loads of people have already checked out on this kit. The hedgehog. And I mean, I'm, I'm still saying I love these rabbits as well. They're absolutely adorable. But look at his face. Oh. It was just amazing. Right, these are going to be coming up in the next day. I'll start checking out now, especially on that mega bundle because that's such great value for money. It's exclusive to us. But I um, absolutely love Steph. I can't wait to look at her Instagram. <gasps> I'm excited. Right, starting with, you just saw Debbie Shaw talking about Aurifil. We're all on different parts of our sewing journey. And I think when I first started in the sewing world, it wasn't necessarily my main priority. I just wanted to get sewing and I didn't really think about what thread I was using to hold the fabrics together. But as you progress along your sewing journey, these are really, really important things to think about. If you're investing in designer, beautiful quality fabrics, what is it that you're piecing it together with? Think about the threads that you're using and whether it be your polyesters. I know a lot of people love using polyester thread with your Gutemans. Or if you want to use 100% cotton thread that is really strong, that is made in Italy, that is beautiful quality, 
There is no other sort of player, I think, that stands out as much as Orifil in the industry. It is renowned Egyptian beautiful cotton. Which one do you want to start with? Because I've got two of our exclusive Sewing Street bundles. We've got the Essential Collection and we've got the Quilters. Let's go for the Essentials first. So when I think of um, some of the biggest players in the world of sewing and some of the biggest brands, obviously you think Fiskars, you think the cutting, you think Fiskars, they've been renowned for years and years. Um, when you think of threads and uh, cotton threads, I, I, we all think of Orofil. And the fact that we have teamed up with Orofil, one of the leading brands in the industry to be able to do our very own colorway. I find it so exciting. It just speaks volumes, doesn't it? Bearing in mind, we've only been going since February and we're already really working with the big boys. £33.99, which initially I felt was an investment, but break it down, 200 meters per spool. 200 meters per spool and the colors are amazing. It's not very often that you get uh, cotton thread that has these colours. I think the reason a lot of people go for polyester threads is because you get the beautiful big bright colours, it's very very strong, very durable, whereas the great thing about Orofil is it's not going to leave lots of lint in your sewing machine. It is going to, to you know, hold the strength when you're, when you're quilting and when you're, when you're doing lots of stitching. It is going to have these beautiful bright colours. I mean, look at that blue, beautiful pink, your burgundies, um, your green as well. You've also got your neutral colours. So those of you that do English paper piecing, you can absolutely hand stitch with this. You can use it in your machine. You can use it in your bobbin. You can use it for hand sewing. You can use it for piecing, for quilting, for applique. You can use this for virtually everything. This is your 50 weight thread, which is, I would say, your universal sewing thread. This is your universal thre uh, thread weight. For £33.99, if we break this down, you've got 200 metres on each spool. What does that make our price per spool? Let's go with that first. So, hang on. 339. <laughs> 339 a spool, 200 meters. Bearing in mind, majority of spools have 100 meters on each spool. 100 meters of thread. Um, so that makes it 196. We're less, sorry, 169 per 100 meters of thread, which is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Exclusive to us at $33.99, and these are your essential collection. Uh, 50 weight, beautiful colours, a great choice of colour, and, uh, and a fantastic price point. You heard Debbie talking about this over the last um, minute or so then, and I know a lot of people, the reason that it started to ring alarm bells was the amount of guest designers who I've met over the years who have said to me, I solely only use Orofil. If I'm using cotton fabric, then I want to use a matching thread. I want to use a cotton thread. Um, so it, that's when I started thinking, ah, oh, why is it that everybody's, you know, favouring Orofil? And I started reading into it and it is absolutely beautiful quality. I always just thought that it was going to be way out of my price range. But actually, when you break it down per metre, uh, and how much you're going to be able to use this with so many projects. It's brilliant value for money. That's the one, again, exclusive to us at £33.99. Have one last look at those beautiful colours. EPPers, do you use grey cat when you're doing EPP? It really helps to like sort of blend between all of the different, um, different colours. Oh gosh, during the height of lockdown, cat was EPPing all day, all day, all day, every day. Let's do the Quilters collection. What? Are you speaking Spanish? Oh no, he's doing his Italian lessons, isn't he? Uh, so, also I must say, on the back, like with the Gutemann threads, even though that these are exclusive to us, they're still official Orofil threads, so they all come with their very own number that you will obviously be able to then buy them again if you want, so that you've got aluminium, like beige, yellow, olive, golden toast, I love the names of them, bark, uh, dark carmine red, midnight, dark eggplant, and black in this pack. This is your quilters collection. It's still 50 weight, it's not a heavier weight thread, it's still a 50 weight, so it's still your universal um, threads. Why am I struggling to get these out? 
That didn't have a lifty up window like the other one for some reason. Um, so they look like they've got a sheen to them. It's just the packaging. There's your golden toast. There's your golden toast. You've got the golden one as well. How beautiful will this look? If you go onto um, Aurifil's website, they have a whole colour card, all different colours. But these are the ones that are exclusive to us. We managed to put these all together to do a beautiful, beautiful, um, a, a beautiful um, pack, especially for quilters. Some of your more Moda colours, William Morris colours, Liberty colours, these are going to be great with lots of your traditional quilts. 50 weight is the most universal thread weight. It sinks into your fabrics. You can use it with your piecing. You can use it. It's different if you want a uh, top stitching thread, I'd go with a 70 weight thread, uh, a heavier weight. But if you want one that you can put in your bobbin, in your sewing machine, if you want one that you can do your piecing with, if you want one that you can do hand sewing with, it is the most universal thread weight. £33.99, and again, you're getting all 10 of these. So normally, when I think of polyester thread, polyester I think as very strong. And if I'm being brutally honest, the way cotton thread was made, I always felt that it breaks a lot easier. Whereas, because you're looking at this Italian, beautiful Egyptian cotton, it is really, really strong. It is built to be extremely strong. It goes through a 15-part process before it gets put into before it gets put into the spool. It's a really luxurious, luxurious thread. To say that actually you're still looking at one pound sixty on a, a, a hundred meter spool. Bear in mind these are two hundred meters, so you're getting two hundred meters on each spool for thirty three ninety nine. Brilliant value for money and exclusive to us. So these are exclusive to us. These are the colours that are exclusive to us. This this kit together. I don't know whether the colours are exclusive to us. I think it's the combination of colours, basically. Uh, the colours that we've picked to put together to make our own Aurifil pack. £33.99. Ten different colours. 100% premium Aurifil cotton for less than £34. Have a bit of a research uh, read into it. Oh, I'm missing one, aren't I? There you go, black. £33.99, all 10 of them. Okay, so we have got the necessities as well, um, the necessities and the Tula pink threads, which are available. We'll come to those um, in a bit. A lot of people are asking about the light. Um, if you are doing things like embroidery, if you're doing cross stitch, even if you want to just have a closer look, uh, any of your work, I think a magnifying, having the right lighting and the right vision is integral and really important. This is one of the most luxurious lights that we offer. There are different ones available, obviously, for different price budgets, but this one's fab because it's got a clip. We've, clip, we've clamped it onto the desk. So you've got the clamp, which you could, sorry, do you want me to keep it here? So you've got the clamp that you can clamp onto the desk. You've also got, and I've put it here, the floor stand so if you want to have that's a really nice weighty floor stand you also then get an additional pole somewhere so there's another pole that goes in between so if you want this on the floor you can put more poles into it and then have the arm still bending round to wherever you are so this is sold out completely sold out whenever this whenever we get this in it always does sell very very quickly and um, it does have the light on there as well. It does have the light as well. It's completely sold out. Okay. Right. Um, I would keep your eyes peeled for that coming back into stock, especially as we're losing our light in the evenings now, aren't we? I think a lot of people are wanting good vision with their, with their hand sewing. All this um, sewing machine, just to have that extra bit of vision, see what you're doing. I'm just really struggling with this packaging today, aren't I? Right, what's the next one, Kat? So, as I say, it's personal preference, uh, whether you want polyester or whether you want cotton, it's absolutely personal preference. I also know a lot of people who love polyester. Now, I said earlier on, if you want a really, the, the 50 weight will sink into your, your fabrics, it will almost disappear into your fabrics, whereas if you want your sewing to really stand out, then it's 70 weight that you want. These are your 70 weight Gutem and polyester threads. You've got all of these colors, 10 colors variegated, and 10 of your solid colors. 
So 70 weight is a heavier weight thread. You can use it for decorative stitching. You can use it for, obviously it has a function in, in dressmaking as well, but with your beautiful variegation, it's going to look amazing. How about doing free motion with it? How about doing quilting with it? Um, just even on solid fabrics, it's going to look amazing. And my favorite color, I know what Paul's favorite color is, this one. My favorite color, I love this one. It's like fruit pastels, isn't it? And I love this because if you're doing any navy blues or denims, that will look like your classic. No, I haven't got my blue jeans on today. I was just looking to see, you know, on classic blue jeans where you've got the gold top stitching. It looks really, really smart. Or if you want to blend it in with your um, with your uh, fabrics, and you've also got some great neutral colours here as well for decorative bags, for cushions, uh, and embellishing. It's fantastic, but also serves a great function. I wouldn't use this in my bobbin just for your top stitching. It's amazing. £45.99. I think, again, talking about being on your sewing journey and where are, where are you on your sewing journey, you can still use 50 weight for top stitching, but if you want it to really pop, if you want it to really stand out, decorative stop top stitching looks incredible. It's a game changer. And having those variegated colours, if you don't know what variegated, um, threads look like. I won't open these, but basically it will just go from one colour seamlessly into the next colour along your thread. They're really, really beautiful, really strong and going to be absolutely handy for, for your top stitching. You get 70 metres on each spool, all 20 Guterman for £45.99. They are lovely colours. Yes. Because we're on our B mode, because we've been talking all about our lovely little beehive, isn't he gorgeous? I love this. Um, we've got this. Now, I think this would make a great gift for somebody. It's $22.99. It's called a Victorian style sewing kit and you will see why in a moment. So you've got all of the beautiful detail. To make this yourself, it would take so long because the embroidery is amazing on this and really lovely little bees. Aren't they gorgeous? £22.99. Are you ready for the magic? So I take the lid off. And look, this all opens out and you have got so many lovely little gadgets. They all come with it, by the way. So you'll get some thread in there. You get your lovely little scissors in there, which are beautiful embroidery scissors. You get an extra tape measure. Um, you've got a quick and pick in there. You see, Ripper. You've got a needle threader. You've got some pins, a nice little pin cushion in the centre. What a really useful gift. There's somebody who's going, travelling or going to uni or going to, or, or, or starting a new home, new house. This is a nice little sewing kit, even for people who aren't necessarily quilters or dressmakers or sewers. We all need a handy sewing kit, don't we? £22.99, that is so lovely and it all just compacts back into your hexy shape. Lid goes on. It comes in a nice little box as well. So I'm thinking for Christmas gifts. I'm certainly thinking earlier this year. Are you? I think because um, it's getting colder and obviously queuing outside of shops, I just think, oh, it's going to be a nightmare. If you're queuing outside shops in the rain and the, all of the elements, I think, right, actually, do you know what? I want to be a bit more organised this year. I don't want to be doing my normal 23rd or 24th of December dash round the shops. Can't do it. So these are going to be lovely to gift to somebody and really useful, uh, lovely little useful gifts as well. Just £22.99. Let's do some more gift ideas, actually, because if anybody is in the same mindset of me about Christmas shopping, then these are going to be really ideal as well. We've seen these from Day Dot. These are one of the first items that we bought on Sewing Street, and it's always on reorder because they're very, very popular. Beautiful quality, and at the price point you're getting is fantastic. Yeah, just so it was facing the right way. $19.99. So in here, you get your big, beautiful dressmaking shears, which are in a really lovely rose gold colour. They're great and weighty. But what I love, Paul, you'll probably agree with me. You know, sometimes when you get a gift set of things and you think, I love that aftershave, but I don't use that, and I don't use that, and I won't use that. Or if you think, right, I'm going to get a gift set of this, and they're almost a bit like, oh, they're your freebies. They're your novelty bits that probably go in the drawer and never used. What I love about this gift set is, yes, obviously, the item that you want is going to be these scissors. But 
Your little bits and bobs are amazing to go with. So you get your embroidery snips, which are stunning quality. They're sharp right to the point. They're millwood. Uh, they've got great detail on. You've also got some really useful little pins and you're getting a thimble. So you're getting all of those accessories for just $19.99. All of those for less than £20, which I think is great value. I think it goes across all skill sets, whether you're a bag maker, dressmaker, whether you do um, home furnishings, whether you do... It doesn't matter what sort of craft you do, we all need good pairs of scissors. I'm so pleased that I've un I understand now, when I first started in the sewing world, I was a bit bamboozled by everybody's obsession with their scissors. I was like, why is everyone labelling their own scissors? And why am I getting evils if I'm going to cut paper with these? Or it, oh, Debbie cut paper the other day with scissors and got shouted at. So yeah, I understand it now. Everybody's very possessive over their scissors and quite rightly so. You've got to have the right tools for the right job. They're beautiful though, fabric scissors. Um, and we've also got them in the silver, cat. I've got them in the silver colour as well. Did you know that we got them in the silver? So don't get me wrong, I love rose gold, but maybe not everybody's into the rose gold. Um, these are all your silver ones, exactly the same as before. So you're getting really lovely 21 and a half centimetre um, scissors. Plus then you're also getting your little embroidery snips, your pins and your thimble. Surely the snips, you should be looking at what, like eight, nine, nine ninety nine. Little pack of pins, thimble as well, really handy gift set for less than 20 pounds just that i give you the option of both of the colorways now you know you said about somebody going off to uni or or having their own home maybe i used to always raid my mum's sewing box for things and then when i moved out it's like oh i don't have that i don't have that this is so handy if you don't have a dedicated sewing room or even if you do have a dedicated sewing room um what a great little box that you can literally have on the side, in your bedroom, by the side of your bed, ready to do some little hand sew. I mean, this could even be your needle felting box. You could keep all your tools and bits and bobs in here, couldn't you, of your needle felting. You could keep all your wool in there, all your felt. You've also got your little um, pin cushion at the top and you've got the little pocket. Uh, plus the little storage tray, $16.99. And I must say, it's very, very, very on trend as well. Your leopard print, you can't go wrong. We're always looking, well, I am, I'm always looking for somebody's birthday is coming up and I think, right, what do they like? What's their hobbies? And, um, you know, what can I find? And it's always when it's running up to the birthday, I can never find something that's a bit different. And then after the birthday, I see loads of things. So now I've started shopping, even if it's way in advance, I've got my present cupboard and my present drawer, where I think, right, if I see somebody at this, I mean, it's not every day, every gift store that you see a leopard print sewing box, is it? So I love the fact that if you know somebody that you think, right, that is up so-and-so street, that is absolutely them. Take advantage of it now whilst you can, because otherwise you'll be thinking, right, where did I see that? And um, can I still get it? I always think that. I, I always see things months and months after and think, I can't even remember where it was that I saw it. So absolutely make the most of it whilst you can. It's $16.99. Would look great in anybody's front room or, or bedroom, living room, or in your craft room, obviously. And it could be just dedicated to one part of your craft. So if you do EPP, it could be a little EPP box that you take into the garden. You've got all your hexes already and your glue pen in there, your needle and thread. It doesn't necessarily need to be all of your stash has to fit in here. It could just be the project that's on the go at the moment. That's $16.99. And the scissors. Well, let's stick with leopard print. Your little scissors with scissor keeper. They're nice just keeping your bag, aren't they? Or keeping the car. Because let's face it, I don't really like just to carry scissors around like this in my bag, but having the little um, snips is lovely. Kat's getting all of her friends, her theatre friends, some little gifts from here, because $3.99, I mean, it's it's really affordable, especially if you've opened your order already, if you've already paid your $3.95 post and packaging. Uh, these are going to be everybody's Christmas presents for her theatre friends. Always very, very handy. £3.99, and I love that you've got that metallic, gold a little bit of shimmer there just three pounds 99 with your embroidery scissors add them to your order 
less than four pounds. Even the ones that you want to just keep in your handbag or keep on the go in the car. Um, doesn't your dad have his, what does he have in the car? On the passenger side, he's got hand cream, deodorant, glasses, an owl file. Oh, it's your mom, it's not your dad. Oh, it's in the passenger side of your dad's car. I'm with you. But handy to have a little pair of scissors, isn't it? You know, just sometimes, like this morning, I've pulled my label and I've actually made um, a little hole in my brand new top because I've just tugged it without using scissors. And we've got loads of scissors here. But it's just handy to just have a little pair of scissors in your bag, isn't it? £3.99. And you've got the little scissor keeper case in there as well. Just a quick warning about the little... Um, Example. Oh, there's only five of the Hexi B sewing kits left. Um, there's something that we've had on reorder from the start, but they've sold very, very well today. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some more of these back. Uh, but they're just twenty two ninety nine, and inside, remember, you've got all of your lovely little bits and bobs, your threads, quick and pick. Twenty two pounds and ninety nine pence. Yeah, got it. Yeah. I forget you can't see me. Cat can't see me upstairs. I have to talk to her. We've got the early bird. Early bird today is a beauty. Really, really cute. Look at him. And they call it. Can we have some name suggestions, please, on Facebook? Bertie, do you want to call him? £9.99. Oh, we haven't had as many people come and say hello to me this morning. Hello, everybody on Facebook. Drop a message and say hello. I love the Facebook Live. I think it's a brilliant way of interacting. Obviously, we're here, we're live. So just come and say hello, and uh, Kat's keeping an eye on the Facebook feed. I know it's been really busy yet today. We've been uh, very busy, obviously, with all of Lynette Anderson's launch. Um, of course, with our crafty kits as well. The Crafty Kit Company, they are beautiful i think uh the founder joe is actually watching she messaged him said brilliant show loved it oh the kits are beautiful absolutely beautiful joe we love them we want more more and more please so this is today's early bird your lovely little sausage dog who's asked for henry oh that's cat what are you going to call your new dog rudy Oh, short for Rudolph, because you're supposed to be getting him at Christmas. Oh, Rudy. I just love his little neckerchief. And he's a pin cushion, by the way. I promise it won't hurt. I don't know what to call him. But he's very obedient. Look, stay. Look at the camera. Wag your tail. <laughs> Oh, he's all good, but he's very useful as well. He's going to sit on your sewing machine and be very, very good and hold all your pins for you. And don't forget, by the way, to search the word Lynette on the website. If you missed our eight o'clock show, um, we launched, where were you for one? We had the most incredible fabric launched, uh, which we believe is only available here at Sewing Street in the UK. We don't know anywhere else in the UK you can get it. So it's very exciting. That Swan uh, Cottage collection is beautiful. Great for this time of year. Hi, Lorraine. Oh, this is what's brilliant about Facebook now, isn't it? Is that you're going to be able to watch us on the go. So Lorraine's watching us uh, in the car park, waiting for her son to finish football training. Is it raining where you are then? Where I know Hayley will probably be doing the same now. Is it raining? Although Hayley definitely won't be sitting on the car. She, she will be at the side of the um, at the pitch screaming. I said to her, I can't even repeat on air some of the things that she was saying. Bearing mom, they're nine year olds. I was like, I bet you're going to be one of those really pushy mums that's screaming at all the teams. No, did you hear what she said? Was say to them? Oh, I'll have to tell you another time. Not suitable for on telly. But Hayley, yeah, she says I've calmed down now. She's calmed down now. I've got some lovely inspiration quilts. So, how about this? When I'm talking about quilting, I'm normally talking about quite lengthy projects. This book from Annie's Quilting, great value for money, and quilts you can make in a day. That is my kind of quilting. I like to see results, you know. I, I get distracted or... You know, new guests come in and they say, do you want to have a go at this? 
And I think, yes, I would have a go at needle felting. So it is nice to be able to uh, achieve something and finish something. How many UFOs, unfinished projects have you got on the go at the moment? But smaller, more achievable projects like table runners, you're going to get really good practice with your binding, with your piecing, with your quilting maybe as well. I've got to that point of my uh, sort of quilting journey that I'm really getting there with my patchwork now. And I think, right, I don't want to ruin it with my quilting because my quilting I'm not as confident with. So it's, it's a really nice achievable project to be able to do smaller placemats or table runners. £8.99, you've got 16 projects in here. Have you 16? 14 projects, sorry. What is that per project? Pence! Pence per project! That's pretty. Oh, these would be lovely with you, Lynette Anderson. 64 pence a project. And this is going to be beautiful with Lynette, 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 Lynette Anderson fabrics as well. Your zoo review. Your leaf, the caterpillar. Oh! <laughs> but that's beautiful. If you've got a fabric, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is obviously with caterpillar fabric, but changing the fabric, it's going to look completely different, isn't it? Your picnic season. Charming change, that's the one from the, uh, the front. I mean, that is a big quilt. It's a 71-inch quilt. You're going to be able to do it in a day. It says beginner level. Beginner level. You're going to be able to do it. I mean, don't get me wrong. You don't have to. Don't rush it. If you want to just spend a couple of hours here and a couple of hours there, you don't need to dedicate. But a rainy day, just want to sit in front of the sewing machine, do some stitching. This is brilliant. What's the weather like where you are today? It's apparently sunny outside here today, which is good. Nice walking weather, I think. £8.99. It's a charm pack. Cut jewels runner. Lovely and sunny um, where Lorraine is. Where's Lorraine? Oh, don't know. The cat just went, it's lovely and sunny where Lorraine is. That's good to know. We don't know where Lorraine is, but... um. Oh, Bandit. I like that name for our early bird. Little sausage dog. Bandit or Spot. Spot the dog. Look at his little face. He's so cute. £9.99. It's today's early bird special. Saving of £5. Just £9.99. He's a nice weighty sausage dog as well. Oh, thanks, Lynn. Lynn, honestly, it's amazing today, isn't it? It's lovely to have your company. Thanks for staying with me today. Right. Got loads of exciting things that are going on, by the way. Loads of things going on behind the scenes at the moment, which is very, very exciting. This weekend... Uh, did you watch Sewing Bee? If you did, then you'll recognise our guest coming up. Um, yeah, he's one of my friends. He's one of my friends. Mark Francis, he's amazing dress uh, dressmaker as well. So you're getting half a metre of every single one of these fabrics. This one has been the most popular by the half metre. That's your Swan Cottage. But the whole mega bundle is £94.99. £94.99, all of these beautiful half metre pre cuts. $94.99 for six metres. I'm sorry that I've got um, I've got so much on the desk, but you can see the fabrics if you missed eight o'clock. It was brand new today. It was absolutely amazing. There's literally a handful of the mega bundles left. Just £94.99. pence. So that's the mega bundle, the most popular by the half metre is this one. We've got exclusivity. Well, I say we haven't got exclusivity, Kat. We are um, the only people at the moment that have got this, which is very, 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 very exciting. Um, we don't know anywhere in the UK that is stocking this fabric. 
which is brilliant because I know obviously um, Lynette Anderson is an Australian um, quilt designer and fabric designer. She's designed over well, 24 different fabric collections. She designs buttons, she's a teacher, she teaches all around the world. But here in the UK, we've really struggled to get the fabrics over. Uh, so we're really, really lucky to have her latest collection that's literally hot off the press. Way over half the stock of this one has gone by the half meter. And this is like the flagship face of the collection. The Swan Cottage. This is your Swan Cottage. It's the only one that comes in this print. I haven't got it in any other, other colorway. Cut up the bolt for you to whatever meterage you want. So if you want a meter of this, add two units to your order. If you want a meter and a half, add three units to your order and so on and so forth. It goes up in half meter increments. We sell by the half meter. If you just want half a meter for $7.99, then this is what you're getting. It's 112 wide, so it's beautiful fabric, isn't it? Great chance to fussy cut. And really nice ex way of experiencing Lynette Anderson fabric if you've never before. You'll see why she's literally one of the most famous um, fabric designers uh, in the world. I was going to say, you know, in, in Europe, but she's, of course, from all the way over the other side of the world in Australia. And yet still very, very, very popular and lots of demand here in the UK. So it's great to be able to say that we are first to be launching this. Just 7 99 and a half meter, most popular one. That is the most popular one. Okay, should we get some more inspiration? Maybe you got the whole mega bundle. So obviously the next book that I'm gonna show you is, design, it is designed for pre-cuts, but you can obviously still use your, your full half meters cut them into five inch squares. It is designed for using smaller pre-cuts, which is brilliant. So it means you're gonna have loads of fabric there. Eight pounds, 99. Another one from Annie's Quilting, which is always known for great value for money. There's lots of projects, whether it be quilts, your prairie points, Your raw edge applique, your dancing in the rain, festival quilt, your charming stars and pinwheels, your crossing lines, that's um, a table runner. That looks like paper piecing, yeah, foundation paper piecing, that's good. Um, and lots of our foundation paper pieced books have now sold out. In fact, we're waiting on getting the paper back in at the moment. But just so you know, you, you've you got some foundation paper piecing projects in here as well, which is a lovely technique to learn. You'll be able to conquer so many more patterns now. Oh, that's amazing. And again, that's using smaller stars. You can see that, that there are two triangles. It must be even, well, you can see there, yeah, half square triangles that have created this big star. So just using five inch squares, you can create that. That's Kat's favorite. Hot pads as well, get yourself some Thermalan. It all depends on what fabric you use, absolutely. The fabric changes are complete, com completely different. I mean, this looks so cool, doesn't it? With your black dramatic background, but imagine that in rainbow colors, how different it would look. Or imagine any of these with your new Lynette Anderson fabrics, with like a rose background or the misty blue background or just a cream background and then all your Lynette Anderson fabrics throughout the start. It look completely different, more autumnal. I do like the idea of doing lots of little um, hot pot plates, little uh, mug rugs and things like that. Because you can make them, you can make them really personal. So you can do uh, free motion on it, you can do embroidery, you can personalise it for somebody's different tea order or coffee order. You can practice your binding on smaller projects. You can practice your free motion quilting. That's amazing. What about with batiks? I'm just straight away seeing this with your barley pops. If you got the deal yesterday on all of those barley pops, you got three of them for less than a hundred pounds, which was brilliant. So well done if you got that, but if you did, what about sunset at the beach? Eight pounds 99. This is what I'm talking about, doing some lovely personalization on your mug rugs. Mine would be um, milk, no sugar, packet of biscuits. Oh, I must say it was funny this morning. Paul came in, he says, oh, did you see the red sky, shepherd's pie? <laughs> he 
He always says, red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Red sky in the morning, shepherd's pie. That is that is the saying, yeah. Don't anyone tell you differently, Paul. Don't let anyone tell you that you say, you've say you said that wrong your whole life. Because it is right. It's better than the original. It is better. I've started saying it and claiming it as my own. I'm ever so sorry, Paul. Everyone thinks I'm a hilarious, comical genius. And, um, yeah, I, I'm not telling them that I'm starting to use Paul's jokes. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, oh dear. My favourite one was March 4th, March 1st. What was it? I can't remember. When's your birthday? And they said March 1st. And they said, when's your birthday? <laughs> March first to get it. I hope you're howling at home. I hope you're giggling. Um, right, that's Paul's jokes. <laughs> um, right, I've got loads. Do you want another book? Modern quilting. Twenty-five step-by-step -step projects for cool contemporary patchwork quilts. This is a Michael. Ah, um, oh, ha so hang on, Caputo. So, in here, you're getting so many amazing designs. 25 step-by-step -step contemporary designs. Learning why seams. 43 pence a project. And I must say, the instructions are amazing. Look at that. That is going to look gorgeous. Really modern contemporary quilts in here. Something a bit different. Good vibrations, lovely big cushions. Your cutting instructions are really, really clear as well. Oh, that's a, I get around, get around, I get around. Oh, hang on, is there a theme here? That's an ironing mat cover and machine cover. Oh yeah, they must be all different. Um, I'm just trying to read to see whether he's named them after certain songs. He must have done. First love, I get around, 70s zoom floor cushion, good vibrations, here comes the sun, that's, um, and beetles. Rubik's cube door stops, hot to trot. Message in, can you help us with the, what's the connection here? Do you know when you go to quizzes and they, they do, right, you've got to do all the answers and then they're all connected to each other for a bonus point. For the, uh, the bonus point, you've got to tell me what the connection is. So they're all into different sections as well. Look, there's a chapter three is home decor. So you've got, look at this Rubik's Cube. Oh, and I love this shape quilt. It's not very often that you see big hexi quilts. There's a documentary about Rubik's Cubes on the telly. What's it called? Okay, speed cubers. Are these people who do it really, really quickly? So do you know who's very, very good at the Rubik's Cube? If ever we get any technical difficulties here, there's a guy, Matthew, who, um, who's Kat's best friend because she has to text him all the time saying, um, this isn't working. Um, and she's had to become very, very good friends with it. But he's really quick at doing the Rubik's Cubes. It's um, algorithms, isn't it? £10.99. What's it called again? Speed Cubers. Okay. Has anybody else watched it? Because they're everybody's um that that both Kat and Paul are telling me to watch it. I'll have a go. Retreat bag. So it's not just quilting projects here. Things for your home, bags as well, quilts, table runners, placemats, growth chart, Paul. Ten pounds ninety nine. All of your techniques that you're going to need as well throughout the book. It, less than 50p a project. You can't go wrong. £10.99. So whenever we're cutting into our beautiful new Lynette Anderson fabric, you don't want to be slashing your fabric. This is These are your standard 45mm rotary blades. You get a nice pack. It comes in like a little packet. A little plastic pack um, that you can store safely away in the case. 
Uh, they can be used with your Fiskars ones, you can use with your Millward, your Clover, your Ulfa. Um, I'm not quite sure if you can use it with... As far as my way, you could use it with the majority of the 45mm blades. Just what the, a way of checking is in the centre, I was going to see if on the centre of your rotary blade, you'll have this little shape. You'll be able to see that shape and then it will fix. Don't get me wrong, they do have a bit of a life if you want to um, sharpen them. But eventually, of course, you will then need to replace them. Even when they are blunt, please be very, very careful because they're still extremely, extremely sharp. To, so be careful when you're handling them, putting them back into the storage case. Oh, thank you. Most of the names are Beach Boy songs. And then there's some Beatles ones in there as well. Is it all the 70s? Who sang First Love? Mm, we're not quite sure. Uh, so, £8.99. The amount of times that Kat asks Siri questions. You've asked Siri more things in the last week than I've ever... No, I don't think I've asked Siri anything before. £8.99. It's strange, isn't it? Paul says his friend was doing it all weekend as well, talking to... Hi, Siri. Will you tell me this? Sorry, everybody's at home is going to be going, Yes, what can I help you with? <laughs> Do you ever do the shopping orders? You can do the Amazon shopping orders on there, can't you? You can't do Sewing Street, I don't think. I don't think we've done it yet with Sewing Street. That'd be good. I know that we're, you know, we're, we're getting down with the, the 2020 vibes of being live streaming on Facebook now, which is good. So they are your 45 millimeter blades, all three of them. Now, before we go out of the hour, because we want to make sure, obviously, with it being the last hour, we want to make sure that we get Steph back on. Have you had a look on her Instagram? Stephanie Lester. Was it Fiber Art? Fiber Artist. Oh, Paul's mum loved it. She's um, she's going to follow. What's your mum's name? Jan? Barbara. Barbara. Good morning, Barbara. She. Um, how was your sewing machine bag, by the way? She was watching the uh, the needle fasting earlier on, and she's. Uh, oh. <gasps> It was a present oh no no it wasn't oh good okay so i'm going to start with the nail oil because i would recommend putting the nail oil on first so this is your seams hand cream which yours are, i mean these are well and truly used now we always give ourselves a nice little manicure in the morning uh, you don't need much of the nail oil and you can actually use it yes on your hands and nails but also you could use it on any other dry bits maybe elbows or any of your hands, if you've got any um, dry knees or dry heels. Do you know, it's, it's nice to be able to just give yourself, especially um, especially if you're wearing any skirts or things, I like to just give myself a little bit of a, a glow, a little bit of a dab. Now, you don't even need to squeeze the pipette. Just put it onto your cuticles. Over the last four days, over the last four days, over the last four months, um, it's been... <laughs> been a long four days. I'm still in April. I refuse to believe that I've lost all my summer. I know, our birthdays. We need to do it all over again. Oh, hello, Barbara. Oh, good, good, good. She loves the sewing machine bag. This smells absolutely beautiful. It's the Fregonia? 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 Fregonia. You say Fregonia, I say Fregonia. Can't say it. The Fragonia oil, it smells absolutely beautiful. There are so many different ingredients. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here so you can see just how much has gone into this. It is designed especially with sewers in mind as it is non-greasy. It soaks in almost immediately. I would still put this on of an evening. I think it's nice to give yourself a little bit of a hand massage. Just so you are aware, it has got macadamia nut oil in as well. Um, but it is designed, as you can see here, to soften and restore and condition that's the macadamia. <laughs> it's the macadamia nut oil, the macaroni, the um, the rosehip oil, and the rice bread oils. The nourish and eat. It will designed to nourish and even skin tone. Do you know I'm nervous because your mum's watching now? <laughs> uh, Moisturise and enhance the skin barrier. It's only because Paul told me the other day that. His mum said to me, really enjoy watching Vicks. She never like, stumbles over a word. She's really clear and informative. And here I am, since then, all gone out the window. Um, it's designed to hydrate and promote skin renewal. It's designed to smooth as well. And it has got that beautiful signature scent. That's your, uh, your hand and nail oil. 
I would definitely, if I were you, if you are getting this today as a gift for somebody or, or for yourself as a nice little treat, then have a look on YouTube, type in Sewing Street and Seams, Seams like this, and you'll be able to see Karen, who invented this hand cream and nail oil, come on the show and talk about it. She does a whole hour just talking about these and, and why she invented it and the importance of all of the different ingredients that have gone into it and the prices as well. So the hand cream is a great price. When you're looking at high-end hand creams and ones that really penetrate into your skin, quite often I find that hand creams, I'm just going to take my, my jewellery off, um, quite often... Uh, I find that hand creams don't penetrate into your skin, they sit on the surface and therefore can leave it very, very greasy, where you only need literally a small amount, I've probably even got too much there, and give it yourself a really nice little hand massage. As I say, us girls, me, Kat and Hannah, whenever we're in, we'll always have a little manicure in the morning, won't we? It smells absolutely beautiful, and, and that is the shea butter the fragonia oil, the beautiful macadamia oil that you can smell, and it's it's not a floral smell, and it's also not a clinical smell. It's, it's a really lovely, fresh, not overpowering, beautiful smell. And I think with us all washing our hands, and I don't know whether you've been into shops and things, and they all have these different pumps. Some can be really quite abrasive, I find. Um, one as you're leaving, one as you enter the next place, and the next place, and the next place. And I think just having one of these in the car, when you get in the car, to, to antibate your hands and then to just give yourself a nice little um, a bit of moisturiser that will soak in. I've found it's really strengthened my nails as well. Uh, they've had a lot of celebrity endorsements from this and it is a brand new product. I think they've had uh, ice skaters from Dancing on Ice and all sorts. It was at Brian A. Do you know Brian A, the one who married the cricketer? Is he cricketer? Or... Uh... He's a sportsman, wasn't he? He was on Dancing on Ice last series and he married that... I'm sure her name's Bryony. Anyway, shall we get Steph back on? We've got our little hedgehog. <laughs> our little hedgehog, Henry the Hedgehog. I'm calling him Henry. And our little bunny rabbits. They're absolutely adorable. All of the kits coming up. I wonder if um, in that last hour, Steph started on Paul's face yet. <laughs> That'd be good, actually, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, do not go anywhere. We're really excited about uh, getting these next kits on. They're already proven very popular, but we'll see you in just a few minutes. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. There are two ways to shop with us, either via our website, which is www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down past the live program and either click on the Shop Our Catalogue banner to shop via category, or shop today's products by scrolling through the list under the email newsletter sign-up form. The other way to shop is via our UK call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Don't tell anyone, but I'll be on Sewing Street soon. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seams stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your product isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your...
their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick unpick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits. Feeling good, it's about looking great. Making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside. And it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also applique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Welcome back, welcome back. We wanted to get you on nice and early so that we have a full hour with you. Because I know we can't run over on this one. But um, we want to get into as much demo as possible. So over to you. For anybody Lovely. who missed your first hour, what is needle felting? Right. So... Needle felting, let me grab, should we grab some wool straight? Let's get one of the kits yeah. open. And get one oh, of the this hedgehog open. kit is just <laughs> adorable. We love the hedgehog. He's so cute. There we go. Pop him over there. Right, so needle felting. We have wool, which if you put under a microscope, has got scales on it, which is kind yeah, of odd, isn't unusual. it? Yeah, unusual. Yeah, all wool have scales on yes. them. Yeah. It's why um, when you get... Um, like viscose felt, it's more likely to be pressed than it right. is to have been felted. It's just a different process and hence why it's cheaper because it's completely, you know, industrial in that sense. Um, although, as I say, the needles came from the industrial machine and um, all needles, they've got little, you won't be able to see that anyway, but you've got like little barbs on, which I guess kind of simulate the scales really. Yeah. And so just by stabbing um, a barbed needle into the wool, it felt ah. it together. Now, because this particular wool is Corriedale wool and it's naturally curly and naturally in it, it means that it actually is going to felt quicker than right. if you've got pristine straight. Because if you imagine hair, mm -hmm. um, it's actually got all of your like follicles and scales going the same way. So yeah. if you try and stab something in, it's not going to felt. Whereas if you've got them all tangled, yeah. they can then all interlock. Yeah. It's like when you put your jumper in the washing machine too hot and it goes, right. it's the scales which have locked. Don't want to come back out again. Right, that makes sense. So this is lovely wool, especially if you're starting out, you yes. see results quite quickly. Perfect. Perfect. It felt really quickly, which is what we want. Yeah, so you, you core <laughs> wool, mm. is what you call your core yes. wool, which is this one. Yes. So we all, core wool really just relates to wool which hasn't been processed as much as the um, coloured wool, although some of that is probably quite natural because obviously we get sheep of all different colours. 
Um, but basically, it's been washed and it's been carded, and it won't have had anything else done to it. Okay. Your yarns, when they get turned into knitting yarns, have obviously been combed and all sorts to make them actually nice and straight. And yeah. that's why it's going to cost a lot more once it gets that far. So this is the cheapest. Okay. So we use that to build up. Uh, the core basically yeah. of all of our and then put the more expensive coloured wool over it to colour it paint right. it paint with the wool so then what else do you get in your kit this is right. the baby hedgehog yes. one that you've opened so now. this is the baby hedgehog so they come so beautifully presented as well <laughs> so you obviously get your instructions which are not only um, pictorial but also detailed um, in text that's probably the unwind round there you go Oh, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> and you also get video tutorials from yes. yourself. And those of you that watch the first day, our stuff is very, very clear. And you go through in great detail yes. the whole stuff. It's stages. a felt along rather oh, than in me just saying, do it like this. Yeah. I'm actually doing it at the same time. Oh, great. So, I love yeah. that. Yeah. So we can do it all together, as it were. But yes, yeah, so you get all your wool. You obviously get your um, stabbing mat, which is to protect your surface. Yeah. Um, let me open up our other little package. So this also Just comes in with the kit, which is such good value for yes. money. And in this particular kit, we obviously get the <gasps> fabulous... It's that like a mohair? Yes. Then? So it's mohair, which has actually had a latex treatment on it to actually make it look like spikes. <gasps> It's really cool, oh, it's isn't it? just so cool. You've got to love it, haven't you? Absolutely love that. <laughs> and then you obviously get your, um, your three needles and your eyes, plus you also get needle and thread because you do have to actually sew the fabric onto the felted Right, body. I'm with you. Yeah. Amazing. So you get everything. Like we said um, earlier, you get everything to do the kit. So as soon as you get this through the door, you can get making yeah, that day. absolutely. Love that. Yes, absolutely. So... Yeah, right, so let's get on. It's always good just to show the instructions so you can see that I'm not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, as always, split the wall up just so that we don't run out. Mm -hmm. Heaven forbid. So I always split mine either up into thirds or quarters just because it's, and in this occasion, because we've got to make the, um, make sure you can see this, because we've got to make the body and the nose, I'm going to split it into thirds. So I've got two amounts of the core wall for the body and um, a third for the nose. And then that will just about cover it. Okay. So I right, split. And two. Steph was saying in the first hour as well, you don't pull it whilst no. your hands are together because it won't. So if you try and strong. pull it there, it's really, really strong. And you've got hold of basically either end of the piece of the um, wall and it's just not going to pull. But if you hold it there and just pull, it pulls. And you can see how mm. you've got your join. Yeah. Brilliant. So there we go. So we will, in fact, I'll start with that piece. And once again, like I do with all of the core, I tie a knot in it. <laughs> it just gives you that great foundation. That yes. Thing. I think it's the biggest thing that people say, it took me so long to get started. Well, you know, I always say, you're not going to get any awards, are you, for actually standing, stabbing for hours. <laughs> Well, let's hope not. <laughs> no, absolutely. <laughs> so why not cut that bit short yeah. and, um, and get the job done, as it were. So, yeah. And so I'm just going to move him out of the way, bring him in. Um, as I say, you get the three needles, which you can just use by themselves. But today I'm going to just use the... It's a yeah, we've got the tool available. Yeah. And so we just start stabbing. As I say, initially, just to tack it down, just to make sure... It's not going to fly away when we let go. And then we just keep on doing it, basically. But we, what we're doing this time is we're making an egg shape. And um, if we look in the instructions, you can see that um, Jo holds the egg in her hand so you can see exactly how big it needs to be. So it's nice and easy to check how you're doing as you're going. I love that idea of measuring with your hands. Yeah, good idea. Off. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is because... The easiest way to get that tighter is to just wrap round again. 
Where did you start with Nidafer? Did you start with the more sort of realistic animals and things like that, or, or more no, like we you had know, the first No, the very hour? first thing I felted was a little brooch for my mum for her birthday. Oh, so you can do jewellery and felt yes, it, like yeah, brooches yeah, and things yeah, as brooches. well. Yeah, brooches. As I say, if you've got, um, in fact, I think I did do it that time, I used a cookie cutter, a heart-shaped cookie cutter, yeah. and then got a, a little brooch back and just attached it to it, and I was quite pleased with myself. <laughs> as oh. you always are, aren't you, when you first yeah. make something? Then I saw online that someone had made a beautiful fox. And I thought, ooh, Why I, go at that? <laughs> I want to go at that. Took me a while, obviously, to build up to that because you don't go straight from brooch to yeah. sort of making yeah. foxes and things like that. But there are plenty of, you know, tutorials and kits. I mean, I just think they are a great way to get. We're all different, aren't we? Some of us like to just go our own way and others like to follow instructions. Oh, I definitely am one that really benefit from the photographs, the yeah. video help, having you here and seeing you physically doing it. I'm yeah. definitely a visual learner. And, um, and we always say um, on the video and everything, because I actually have like a Facebook group, which is just all about tips and tutorials oh, for okay. needle felting. And I actually put um, the details on that. Anyone can contact me if they're having trouble with any of it as oh, well. Oh, thanks so, for that. Yeah. So have you put that onto the... It's, the on, the, it's on the video. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, so they can contact and happy to help. Because sometimes, you know, we think we're covering everything that everyone needs, but yeah. you're not quite sure, are you? <laughs> yeah, when you're making kits and, and instructions, it, it is a lot of, I think, sort of trial and uh, trial and error and mm. going back and forth and back and forth and seeing that everything is included for, for, for newbies. Yeah. Now, even when, Steph, before we went on air today, you said, I, I might just do things by habit, so please stop me if you don't understand <laughs> anything. But it's ever so clear, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It, it is, actually. It's. I think the probably the hardest thing I'd find is getting those the shape of it. Yes. But um, it seems to be behaving itself. Yeah. It doesn't spring back. At, no. Uh, no. As I say, that's why once you've tacked it down, and, and it's very much, yeah, okay, well, I still need to stab that some more because it's, you know, we can see it's not, but yeah. we can see it's getting there. Yeah. And just by adding more and more going round, yeah. it's, it's surprising, I think, how quickly, especially with that tie knot in the middle, yeah. how quickly you can get, to get the basic of the body. So I'm just gonna do that one more time. And then what I'll do is I'll bring the one that I made earlier. So what I'd really like to do is to show you how to make the shape of the nose. Because that's the first time oh, we'll have done a shape yeah. then, you know? So just to lovely. show how to do that. So and don't forget, by the way, we've got the offer on the Mega Bundle, which is exclusive to us. So the Mega Bundle includes your hedgehog, also your baby rabbit, from the first hour, the beehive and the rainbow. Plus, it isn't just those four kits, you're also then getting this one, which is called the Beginner's Felting Bundle. Now, these are all aimed for beginners, really. Yeah. They're all kits that somebody who's never done it before, I think, are going to be able to pick up and really enjoy and get your teeth into. But what I love about this one is if you've got any of the others, or if you're getting the whole bundle, you're going to be able to then sort of venture off on your own to fit and think, right, what else do I want to create with all of these different colours? You get loads of all to play around with. Plus, you also get in here your um, your needles, your foam pads still, and you get your wooden handle felting yes. tool. So, brilliant. Which, as I say, you can turn it around and actually hide the needle away, so it's nice and nice safe. Nice and safe. Brilliant. Yeah, I think from a beginner's bundle, the idea is when you very first start, you don't have any extra bits, do you? Yeah, so no. sometimes it's nice just to have a little bundle that you can go into just when you want a bit of a stash. Yeah, starting off. We do stash. like a stash, don't we? <laughs> great value for money as well, less than twenty pounds. Just a reminder, though, you will need to search the code. It is hot off the press, and oh. uh, so hot off the press that we haven't got it on our website. You need to. Well, you, it is on the website, but you just need to type in the code to be able to find it, which is I N X C zero four. INXC04. There's less than 20 of those mega bundles available, so do check out on those as soon as you can. Right, so you can see how it's coming along, egg shape. Just, yeah. need, to, just need to keep stabbing. So let me bring, it will eventually, same shape, but just a little bit smaller. More compressed. Yes, because that's all you're doing really, is making it more compressed and harder. So that, right. So then we end up with that shape. So let's show you how to make our little nose because we need to make our little nose snout, whatever we want to. How much wool, how much of your core wool will you use for the snout? So not very much actually, because usually what happens is I break off an amount and then I think that's actually too much, but at least okay. you can, you don't waste it. Yeah. 
So I'm just... Yeah, I think that's what I like about this. Nothing goes to waste, no. does it? No. Even when I have my little bits, I actually have a pot at home that I put them all in. Yeah. And then I either use that as a core or mix it all together. And it's just sort of a lovely, what am I going to make with that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just to show you then, when I'm making things like... Um, snouts and shapes so you can see um can we see no she's going to bring it into shot you can see that it's actually a triangle basically um like when you're um sculpting many things they come in triangles yeah. and shapes don't they so we're going to do a, sh a triangle so here on our pad with our little bit of wool i am going to just draw with my needle a triangle so let me hold that down just to make that and just to remind everybody, you're going literally up and down at the same angle. Yes. Yes. So I think when you're doing shapes, that's when you're probably more likely to almost drag your needle yeah. or put it in at a different in and angle, out. but go in and out and yeah. a vertical. Absolutely. Or at the go. same angle, not necessarily vertical. No. But does it help to go vertically in and Well, out? the reason why I normally go vertically is um, either because I want to actually get... Um, less of a, a hole in the in the in the top skin as it were um or it's oddly if i want to move the wall around mm -hmm. i'll i'll explain that in right, a minute okay. but it's um an, an easy way if you think about it if if you're always felting wool in if i actually start doing it at an angle i'm actually moving the wall that way right. so if i suddenly want to move some wool in that direction i do it yeah. at an angle so just doing that so you can see a Hopefully you can see, yes, I can just about see that. Made a nice little, so what we do now is because what we want is obviously not to have lots of flailing edges is I pull it in and then I pull it in and then I've got a nice folded triangle that I'm going to stab. I like that all of the shapes are broken down for mm. you. It's all really clear in your instructions that this comes from a triangle. Yes. Which actually, you can see now. Even in my simple. complicated things, I do now still work in triangles. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so much easier, isn't it? You break anything down That's that you're it. actually doing. So then I even just fold it over again because what I'm obviously trying to do is have this nice little um, oh. snout. Um, where is he? Here he is. We're trying to do his nice little snout. So. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> this is the most popular kit. So oh. Everybody's going crazy for the hedgehog. It's just fifteen ninety nine, and yeah. everything that you need to get going is in there. Yeah. Did you say, Paul, that your mum went on a needle felting workshop? She loved it. Absolutely loved it. Oh, I wonder whether she'll be having a go at the um, hedgehog. At the hedgehog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stabbing him in. And basically, as before, you just keep stabbing until it's more... Obviously, we want him to be quite solid on his little snout, so you just keep stabbing. Now, I always find that rather than just stab into a piece I've got on here, it's always easier if I'm actually stabbing wool into it. Right. I don't know why, but I just feel like I'm getting somewhere yeah. more. So I'm just going to pull a little piece off. And I'm going to wrap it round just so that I get that. Stabbing it in again. Oh. I'm doing it a bit faster just because I'm not I'm not actually going all the way into the mat. The mat really is. Just a protection if you accidentally go all the way through. The idea is so not to. So you don't to. need to go no. all. Uh, no. Yeah, I think that's probably the first thing I always think is that <laughs> yes, you're... you want to go all the way through to the mat. And you don't really, you want to go into the centre rather than out the other side yeah. so that you're building it up. And that's why you always keep moving it around to make sure you're not stabbing all on one side. More than the other. Now you see what I mean about too much... Well, yeah, I've got loads there. <laughs> so once again, you can do as I did before, which is just by pulling, make sure I've got hold of that end, I can just pull a bit off. Right, okay. Yeah. And just keep stabbing. So this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to once again pull out a little. <laughs> <laughs> when you made earlier. So because that's now, that's actually quite solid 
um, but still really fluffy here because this is the bit that's going to be joined. Ah, so you still do need excess yeah. to it. Yeah. Right. Because that's how, you know, we were saying earlier about how we're going to be joining Attach things. It. That's yeah. how we're actually going to. So I use that initially to join and then we'll actually build it up a bit because the um, this bit up here that the eyes need to go in has actually got quite a little forehead going on there, really. So this is where you sort of decide, am I going to have a pert little nose up? Am I going to have a little snout going down, depending on where you want to put it? I'm going to do mine just like it is on the kit. So yeah. up. So I'm spreading out those extra bits. And then I just stab those into the rest of the body. See, that's uh, so much. I, I hope that's demystified for, to everybody who was like me thinking, right, how do you join all <laughs> yes. of these different shapes together? And it's not complicated. You no. just need to. In fact, when we do the um, little rabbit, I'll show you, because there aren't ends as such. You just have a solid egg and a solid egg. And I'll show you how you create okay. stuff to do that. But very quickly, you can see that joins. Just so you know, all of the kits are underneath us on the website, but the mega bundle, you need to search the graphics. I think the mega bundle and the beginner bundle, so if you just want the uh, the stash builder, if you do want that stash builder, you need to search <laughs> the That's what we need that. to call it, don't we? The yeah. stash builder, yeah. Absolutely. You've got green, black, white, grey, orange, pink in there. You've got loads Beautiful. of wool. Spare tools, spare um, block as well for just $19.99. You need to search the code though, which is MC, no, MFC752. So there we go. We can see very quickly attached. And it's this stage where you think, right, okay, um, I need to, because this is quite soft, obviously, where I've attached it. Just need to add a bit more of a forehead because the eyes, we need to sort of put the eyes yeah. in. So to create, the best way is to not just put it on, the best way is to create a little cushion. So here we just softly roll it up so that you've got a nice little cushion. Mm -hmm. And then basically, get my little head the right way around, pop it. That's cute, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> It's going to look like a polar bear, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I, don't think, I thought to start with the other day when I was making it, it's really funny, actually. They look quite strange as you're going all the way yeah. through. And uh, I was thinking, oh, it looks a bit like an elephant. And, you know, it's quite funny yeah. until you actually get to pulling it all together. And then it's like, yes, now he's a hedgehog. Have you ever started and it's, it has changed and you've thought, do you know what, actually, that is looking more like that. I'm going to carry on <laughs> making it into something else. <laughs> I haven't, but I just suppose I'm a bit more of I'm going to persevere until so, I get this. So you this. plan, you plan yeah. what it is that you make. Yeah, and also these days, whenever I start off doing anything, because I quite often do them with armatures as right. skeletons, and Ooh. so um, I will actually make three to start with, and I take them all to a certain level and then just carry on with one of them, just because I will never remember what I did. No, exactly. <laughs> Difficult, yeah. So if I need to go back and make another one, I think, oh, well, I've got the starter to um, be going on. I'm not one to make notes, really. <laughs> I feel as I should. <laughs> but, yeah. We're all different, aren't we, about whether we yeah. make notes and... We've got about ten minutes with the hedgehog. Oh, OK. That's good. That's OK. Right. So, right. Do... as we can see, we start getting our shape. Let me see what bits have I got that I've gone to earlier. Right. And uh, yes, eyes. yes, eyes. Let's get our little. So you get your little um, glass eyes as well. Yeah, yeah, all in here. If you wanted to do this for a young child, could I do it with like French knots or could yes. I? Can I embroider actually on? The thing is, it depends how young. Yeah. Because it's wool, you couldn't give it to a baby. No. Because of the loose, but yeah, you can actually. Um, you could even do joints and things. I'm going to put this out with my teeth, sorry. <laughs> I apologise. Yeah. yeah, there we go. So we get our little glass eyes, which are really cute. So 
What I think they're more do. ornamental anyway. Do you find that people who buy your... Oh, yes, absolutely. I, I say they're not toys, they're sculptures to actually be put up or behind glass yeah. and things rather yeah. than, yeah, absolutely. And I think they should be, you know, I that do. way, aren't they? The amount of time you've probably spent. I mean, yeah. you know, not a quick thing no. <laughs> to do. So, um, right, when we start with the eyes, let me... Did I... Finish that one. Oh yes, in fact, I think I've so got one. So that one's got the forehead and yeah, all so in. Yeah, so you can see I've got his forehead oh, nice. all in. So what you're going to do now is you what you want is um, a bit of a crater to put the eye in, so to speak. So once again, like earlier, when I stabbed around the beehive, you need to stab all in one place for um, a while, just to, and also with the hedgehog, it's kind of like a V shape. It goes from the little nose to the eyes, to the ears, so. Right. We are gonna stab all in one place. Now I personally do not glue anything until the very end. So I will put the eyes in and then I'll carry on felting until I'm happy with the end. Mm -hmm. Because too many times have I glued things in and then changed my mind. Right. <laughs> Eyes as well, I think they ch they certainly change the character. Yes. Don't they? Oh, absolutely. And so you, with this, with the shading that you can actually do around the eyes, it absolutely changes. You think snout up, snout oh. down. I even was tempted to do one with the little legs with it up, because sometimes they're up, aren't they? Yeah. You can do whatever you want. And that's the great thing. Everybody who buys the kit will do it differently. Oh, see, that's what I love. Everyone's hedgehog will be slightly individual. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yep, I think we've got... Can you see that? Oh, I've actually done a dent or... Just about. Yeah. You can just see the craters. So what we need to do is to just create a hole. So I actually just put the needle all oh, the way Oh, it's not going to hurt. No. No. Our little hedgehog isn't alive because he hasn't got his coat or eyes or feet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then we would just pop the eye in. There we go. So at the moment, it looks a little bit beady. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because we haven't put any of the um, coloration or anything around. But the thing is, I think with the eyes, that sets up then how you do the nose, how you actually do, as you say, it really does actually give it a bit of character, doesn't it? You should actually start put there it is. I'll step. In it goes. Okay. Probably needed to make that a bit bigger, but I'm going to actually put some mm -hmm. shading around that anyway. Can you so. just shim it over to your right again, please? Oh just yes. Like, thank oh, you. I'm a bit a bit keep lefty, aren't I? I keep yeah. coming towards you. That's what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, just for um, making the nose, what I um, always do is just roll up a piece of wool in advance, and this is where I actually do something in the palm of my hand. Start the felting process with the heat. Then get my single needle just to give it a little... don't want it to be rock hard but it's just nice that it's a little bit more substantial. Did you say someone singing out there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing Lucy is here. Uh, one of the presenters over on my sister channel and she's always singing. Ah, uh, very nice. And then it is a case of just adding it. And the little nose, it's almost on the um, top. So I'm just going to slightly stab it in. Once again here, you know, you can have a big nose, you can have a little one. Oh. It's completely up to you. At this point, I'd be thinking, right, have I got it too big? How far can you felt, can you over punch is what I'm going okay. to ask. Um, you can, but not with these needles. No. No. Um, oh, that's good. Yeah. 
that's why um, I love these kits because they've got the right needles for you to be able to stab away and not over felt. I mean, I do have some quite substantial needles and there's, there is a technique where you need to make it really, really hard. And if you make, if you go too hard, it starts to crumble. Oh, right. Okay. But you're not going to manage that with these. You'll be fine. But you do get a set of three needles. Yeah. Um, with every kit, including your, your your beginner's kit as well, the stash builder one. So even though we're calling this like a stash builder, yeah. uh, it isn't just the wall. You get loads of bits and bobs there. Maybe you already are a needle felter and you just want mm. to get somebody else into it or just add more colours to your stash. So it's there. Mm. So um, just to quickly show about stabbing around the eye. So this is the shading around yeah. the eye, isn't it? Now, it is amazing how quickly you can make that eye look bigger or beady or, because that's the light one. It's just giving it a bit of, not had much sleep type thing. And I'm just gonna pull a bit extra off there. And then, if I... Oh, it always <laughs> ages him, doesn't it? Yeah. And then if you put just a little bit of dark also around, that makes the eyes look bigger. Oh, really? We do love big eyes, don't we? Oh, mm -hmm. gosh. They're having fun out there, aren't they? <laughs> Give me a little quirly bit. See how that gives that little bit of character with that? Oh, even... yeah, he looks absolutely gorgeous. So sweet. Okay. So I'm just conscious I want to get on to show yeah. you about the oh, mohair. Oh, yeah, fabric. the mohair is gorgeous. So we'll carry absolutely. on. Absolutely. So the mohair. Did I have my little piece? Separate? We're bypassing the legs. At this point, you would well, do... Well, the or thing is... Does it matter which order? It doesn't matter, but in the kit, it does actually tell you, and I'm just going to show them to you little legs we mm -hmm. would make the little legs and put like little details of the little claws with the dark and then put the shading <sighs> on but we just make a little sausage yeah yeah and then we'll and in fact we'll <laughs> <laughs> so you do the the dark um the dark color and then the shading around so it, it doesn't well. in fact funny enough on the video i did it both ways because i started off by saying oh i think i'll do it Doing yeah. the dark and then doing the light. And then yeah. I thought, oh, I don't know. Then I did the light and, and did the dark. dark. So and it's like, whichever way, way whichever way you fancy doing okay. it. Um, and as I said um, previously, if you sometimes, if you think, oh, that's a bit dark, just get a little bit, bit of the light. light and just put it over it. Um, okay. But you really do just need um, four shapes. All the same shape, all yeah, the same size. All the roughly. same. Because okay. as you will see, what will happen is you will just, in fact, shall I show you? He just has his little two and two coming out. And then they're felted in as well. Yeah, so that those ends that we have um, here, you can see I've left that a little bit fluffy. So that would just go on and be felted into the body there. Right, okay. All explained in the video and the instructions. Yes, absolutely. Back. We're going to this lovely mohair. Oh, I mean, I love this mohair. So what you do here is you need to cut it out to shape um, and you would let me make sure I do this over here you would Thank put you. your little hedgehog on and actually say right okay where's that coming round to and then just draw your little circle and this is where I'm looking for my scissors what sort of scissors do you need to cut your um, mohair Basically, you need very small, sharp embroidery scissors. Um, I'm just wondering Do if we've we... got any there. Are there any in the little um, tray that you could use? If not, Paul can Dem grab you some. Are there any below the rotary cutter, underneath the rotary cutter? I can see a little pair. Are they a pair of scissors? No, they're strange. I did bring um, a pair with me, and now I'm I think wondering Paul's... where are they. Ah, there we go. Oh, fab. Thank you. Now, hey. <laughs> just a little pair of embroidery snips. Yes, just a little pair of embroidery snips. Now, the way, the reason why is any fabric, teddy bear, if you're making teddy bears or anything, this is exactly the same way that you would actually cut the fabric. Because what you don't want to do is to cut 
any more of these away than you absolutely no, have to. No, you don't to. want to give them a bad haircut. No. no. So you keep it really short, little snips. So you're actually basically just trying to trim that backing. Yeah, almost. you're literally trying to drag the um, underneath as close to the fabric, the under one is as close to the fabric without lifting it up. You will obviously cut the odd little, but you're trying to cut as few as possible. So the idea is that it really is just snipping in there. Right, so good to do it from the reverse. Yes. Because you've almost just... Well, because you, I don't, I think it's going to be pretty impossible to see. See where you're going, yeah. So we're going... I can't believe for twelve ninety nine. I mean, mm -hmm. mohair is really I expensive, know. isn't it? Hang I on, uh, no, this is the scissors. So it was sixteen ninety nine, wasn't it? I think the kit. But mohair is really expensive, yeah, isn't it? It is. It is. Um, but that's why we a little square. <laughs> yeah, it is. Still get your bit of wiggle in there, don't you? As well. Yes, now. absolutely. Yeah, I'm trying to think. There you go. What Sorry, you can make. fifteen ninety nine. Ah, not there we go. I see the price gets better. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it's so good. Your Very lovely good. little baby hedgehog. He's stunning. Yeah. We've still got the baby bunny rabbits as well to come yeah. this hour. We're still going to do the baby bunny rabbits. So, what I have, I will show. Approaching oh, half past the hour, just okay. so you know. Okay. Well, I have one, oddly enough, that I did here earlier, where um, I didn't do one half. <laughs> And I did it. So you can actually see the difference between the eye, which has been done with the um, accents and shading, um, and the nose with the feet on one side and not on the other. Yeah. So just to show with regards to adding the fabric to the. Let's take this one, shall we? We've got a little selection, haven't we, to go from? So what you will do, and my suggestion is that you actually um, put a pin down the centre so that he doesn't move mm -hmm. about. But basically, you are going to sew from the front round to the side bit and then do the other one front round to the side. And then when you get to the back, you're going to pull that together and then you're going to snip that bit off. Okay. So you've got those that you can just ladder stitch together. Right little invisible seam all the oh, way up nice. the back. And, and that will be completely sort of yes. encased into well, all those spikes. You can see can't how... See it. No, can't see it Can't at see all. it, can you? No. No. Nice little... And um, so with this one, did I do it at the side? I think this one I did at the side because obviously I was doing half and half. So he would just go, which you can do. Yeah. I've, I've done it both ways. In fact, on the um, video I showed both ways doing it where you could actually just cut the back or do the sides it depends right. on you okay. it's it's all the same shape it's yeah. just how you prefer to do your snip and then and then to yeah. cover the i mean it's not really a raw edge but you still got yes. a little bit of um, you have a and that's haircut. we can on our where's our one that we did half do there he is <laughs> so here as i say we have got a bit of a it's a stark edge isn't it really yeah. so what we do there is we take the light color and just to blend it in, let's get my, just to blend it in, we just stab along the edge there. So you get that nice little fuzzy edge. And that's into still the felt, not into the mohair. No, I'm, I'm doing that into the felt um, on the edge because then it can just drip over a little bit onto the fabric. And very quickly, you get that. I mean, oh, I've not really done very yeah. much at all. And suddenly, you've got that effect. Just a few stabs. Because you obviously want it fluffy still. You don't want it felted all the way in, so you don't have to go mad. Just so that it's not going to come out. Um, yeah, very I think quickly. it's more, it's one of those sort of trial and error, you keep doing it oh. and then you take a bit, then you do yeah. a little bit more, yeah. step away, you're happy with that, if not, maybe a bit more, or different I colours. I often finish mine and then come back the next day and have another look, because yeah. sometimes you're a bit too close to it, aren't you, and you're, you keep, I say, 
sometimes just stop it. You just, will you stop felting this yeah. piece? And you come away and look at the next day and think, oh no, it looks lovely, it's yeah. fine. Um, in fact, one thing I thought the other week was these little spare ones which come off. You could make eyelashes out of them, couldn't you? Oh. <laughs> How on earth would you do that? Well, I was just thinking you'd obviously have to glue them, wouldn't you? But I just thought, you know, oh. you just think, don't want to waste a thing. <laughs> Oh, my word, that is So cool. we could somehow make some little eyelashes up there or even, I suppose, you could even take a row of these ones and make eyelashes out of them. But I was just thinking these little ones, which Yes, do, if you do that, please let us know. Mm, that would be good to see. Then you'd have a little female one, wouldn't you? Basic. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling about moving on to yes. the baby Brilliant. bunny? Is there so, anything else you wanted to mention? No, so I think let me just have a quick check down. Oh, ears. Gosh, we've got his ears. Oh, no. Just very quickly. So I've got some ears, quite literally you would fold round um, a piece of wool and stab that into shape as you would have here and put a little dark centre in. Oh nice, yeah. okay. But leaving our little bit here and then we would add him there. I didn't even know hedgehogs had ears, yeah, actually. Yeah, very cute ears. Cute ears. Once you know and start looking for them, you think, yes, they're very cute. They're just inside the fur, or fur, spikes. Um, they're kind of just up there. They're nice, nice soft spikes, aren't they, yes. in this one? Yes, oh, absolutely. So you start, like, just... So I've just tacked that on slightly, and then I would... Put a bit of fluff in front of it just to make it look a bit more just by quickly putting a bit of fluff on the front kind of blend it all in and you can very quickly see that it would actually look like. Oh, yes, he see? is coming to life, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, you see his little ears. And then so you can spread them it wider or smaller, depending on how you want to do. This one, I did a much browner face. This one, you know, a whiter face. It's completely up yeah, to Yeah, make it personal. Yeah. Make yeah. him have his own personality. Yeah. Multiply them and you can do mm. like a whole family of little hedgehogs. <laughs> It'd be gorgeous. Mm. But as we say, the video goes into full detail on all of those bits. Yeah, so, amazing. Yeah. yeah, you won't have somebody um, going, come on, I've got to do the next. <laughs> next. <laughs> so no, you get the whole video um, and the felt along video. So yes. the bunny kit, the baby yeah. bunny. Absolutely adorable. And different ways of doing this. I mean, as you yeah. I, I thought they were two different kids, but no, you've nope. just done one with floppy ears. I personally with the... love a lop-eared rabbit. So I thought I've got to do one like that just to show that you could... Um, and in fact, this one, you can see, I just put a couple of whiskers in. Yeah. Um, but the the way we always do those, she says, looking underneath, got one I did bring a paintbrush somewhere. Is a paintbrush. They're just paintbrush bristles. Oh, okay. That you um, take out and pop in. So if, you know, anybody's yeah. got an old paintbrush around, yeah. just yeah, steal that, put that in. Just oh, give that added idea. little feature, which is just a nice little, but I'll just pop. Them there. In fact, do you know what? They look cute from the back as well, don't you think? Oh, his little tail. <laughs> really cute. Right. Okay. We've got about 15 minutes. Yes. Okay. So I think what we'll do here, because we um, stabbed the shape on the other one. Perhaps if we say the... Right. Well, you said it's two egg shapes, didn't you? His yes. head and his body. So basically, we're going to make our little egg... Should we put those ones away so that we can actually see the correct instructions? That makes sense, doesn't it? There we go. All lovely clear photographs oh, as well. Oh, that's what I was saying. Once again, showing you what they look like on the hand. But yes, yeah, so you've got your larger egg shape, which is going to be your body, and your little egg shape, which is going to be your head, and you need to pop them on the top. But this time you haven't got the, the extra no, bits to join. because we've done them all in. So let's just open my little pack here. Crazy, isn't it, that you can turn that into I know. the bunnies? Love A them. little bit of wool. So, let me show you. This is my little staple technique, as I call it. So, once again, you just pull yourself two very small bits of fluff. Makes sense if I bring that down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a crisscross. I'm going to stab it on the top. 
then I'm going to put the head on and then wrap that round. Ah, okay. So we create our own little bit of fluff, basically. There we go. So let's just put that crisscross. So I'm just going to stab in the middle of that. So we've got our bits flapping out. Now this bit, I do want to make sure, obviously, that this center is really nicely stabbed in because this is going to be the base of holding the head. And obviously the egg shape, you want it so that the um, lesser end is going to be the nose. And then we just pop it on top, wrap our little bits around. I'm going to bring that up, tack it, bring that to the side. My fault, my um, way of just sort of stapling, as I always call it, but it's just, and we will add more wool to make it even more substantial, but it's just that initial join, isn't it, to make sure. And is that quite secure then? These, you know, obviously are ornaments, they're not toys, like you no. say, but they are then going to sort of last. I mean, the test these of time. are, if you think this one has had that initial, then I've added wool, then you've added more. The great thing is, because you're adding continually to it, yeah. I and mean, it is still soft yeah. and squidgy. And let's be honest, if a dog got a hold of it, it would rip yeah. it to shreds. <laughs> so yeah. Don't give it to the dog. Yeah. But it's not going to, it would just stay like that yeah. forever. It's not going to fall it's apart. It's not going to fall apart. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've made um, some fishes where obviously it's really quite light. Mm -hmm. um, and they, yeah, they just stay. They don't fall apart. Once you've, even if you felted it lightly, it's still felted. So just joining that together. Just doing it with my single needle. Everybody's asking, what's the largest thing, item then you, that you've needle felted? Oh, um, well, when I do um, my dog creations, I usually base them on um, an A4 armature. Gosh. So they, they're that big. Um, heads, when I do heads, they're... Oh my word! Thing. Yeah, yeah so, that so that's the size stabbing. that I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I don't do miniature, as we said. I'm not. I tend not to go tiny. To this. I mean, I would love to do a hummingbird, but mm. that's tiny, isn't it? And yeah, I'm not they are sure. tiny. Yeah. I just I did a kingfisher, and um, that's probably the tiniest. But I'm going to love the um, the colours of a. Kingfisher. We've had a lot of requests in of different animals and Ooh. different ones to do. We've had a pig, yeah. um, a giraffe, oh, a dragon. I've done a goggly-eyed giraffe. Oh, have you? Yeah, a stylized giraffe rather than a um, dragon, a stylized one, a dragon coming out of an egg. Oh, that. brilliant. <laughs> so, you see how? How quickly that's already he's attached for me. And he's not. Oh, yeah. And I would... Do another layer. I would take some more and put it round just to make it a bit more substantial, but you can see how it's attached. It's secure, yeah. Yeah. And you would just carry on. But now we would do the ears, which are going to come round there anyway, and once again, further join them, basically, because the ears are going to start on the back and come round to the... It's all just one big joining process, really, but... It's great fun, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So let me ears right. I'll show you how to do the ears, but here's some ears. Oh, here's some ears I made earlier. They're lovely. So in the instructions, <laughs> it's the one for the sticky up ears. Yes, you can easily have. Yes. So stuffing. let me. So basically, these are just longer versions of these. Okay, and you've got and enough wool to put do them it. on in exactly the same way. And in fact, if I just pulled that down, you can see if that was longer. Yeah. That would actually be a long-eared yeah. rabbit. So. It's no different other than you're making them longer and then you're pulling them down. Okay. Yeah. But you can... I love them. <laughs> They're so cute. So um, just to quickly show you about how to do the ears. Yeah, Once again... Just less than 10 minutes. Right. Just to show you the shape again. Once again, we're talking about using shapes and creating shapes. Because we don't want sort of fluffy edges, it's always much better if we can fold things over. So having this, you know, triangle, once again, at the top of an ear, you can very quickly fold down. Ooh, bit of cotton there, lovely. 
and very quickly fold down and you have the shape of, you know the starting of an ear already yeah. now i said earlier that um for me the biggest thing that people say is they they start with quite a lot of wool and that's because that's the thing isn't it we just assume we need a, lo a, lo a lot of wool but they think i can stab it down and they've got to a certain thickness and just really can't I'm just going to lift that up so you can see it's still quite flimsy but it's very quickly mm -hmm. a shape which i can pull around now the first thing you can do is just iron it with your hands just and that'll warm it up and yeah and just it basically squashes it together um, and then you can just carry on and felt it because it's already thinner you can go from there if that fails and you felted it to within an inch of its life and it's as thick as a thick thing, get an iron <laughs> and iron it. Oh, really? You can iron these then, yes. yeah? Steam it and it will be as thin as you need it to be. So that's just, you know, obviously we all prefer to do things perfectly yeah. and everything, but when we've invested a lot of time in doing something, well, so I'm just think, just... how am I going to get out of this? Yeah. Yeah, iron it. Or... I mean, I obviously don't use hair straighteners myself, but I do have hair straighteners for when I... Oh, <laughs> good idea. Hair, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, so um, you continue making the shape, put the pink inside, put a little bit of colour on the edge. Now, just to say what I use here, because this is where it does get a bit dodgy for your fingers, if you want to put a little bit on the edge, is um, I don't have one with me at the moment, but I use a business card. And I would... Just squash a business card together and protect my fingers. So oh, good idea. Yeah. yeah. So, and then just stab that little line down the centre. Okay. To do that that way. And then you've got your lovely little oh. ears. And then you leave that attachment at the bottom. You leave the little yeah. bit of fluff. So this is now how you attach your ears. Where do the ears get positioned? So, so I put them in the wrong yeah. place. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we can... The thing is, the with, yeah, because the thing is with the uh, rabbit's ears is they're quite often pointed to the sideways. They're not yeah. usually pointing Forward. forwards, are they? So I always start by putting the back seam down the back and then go from there. So I just stab that in. If you sort of tack it in first yep. and you look and you think, do you know what, I'm not happy. Take it off. Yeah. You can take it off. You can just take it off. Like that, for instance, I think, oh, no, that's too high. Pop that off. Yeah. yeah, easy. And then go, oh, yes, that's yeah. what I'm going to do. Uh, it's such a forgiving medium. I said, I always, I take my hat off to people who do um, pottery, you know, where they put something in a kiln and it explodes when they've spent days on it. <sighs> and you think, oh, my goodness. Whereas with this, I can rip things off. Yeah. And if it's really rock hard, you can actually carve it. Oh, really? <laughs> I know. Oh, my word. I know. That's how hard you can actually get it. And then you just wrap that edge around there just so that you're once again doing more of that join. Straight away, it's starting to look a rabbit, yeah. isn't it? You put some ears on, well, a, a ear. Yeah. <laughs> and suddenly you've got the start of a rabbit, haven't you? How bizarre. Oh. It's bizarre, isn't it? But yeah, yeah very quickly. Okay. And from the next stage would be just colouring the rabbit. So basically saying, um, I think I might have a little white chest. Oh. I'm going to have a little nose. So if I just go over and then colour the rest of it. Um, and this is just doing it, do it nice and thinly rather okay. than thick. Because um, the thing is, most animals, they're not like thick or one no. colour, are they? It's no. lots of different colours coming through. And in fact, when I do um, most of my um, animals, I start off with one colour, add another colour. And that's what this is, because you think you've actually got lots of different colours in there. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, really, really gorgeous. The little bits that you see are just vegetable matter. Is one of the, because it hasn't been processed within oh, an inch no of it. Way. It's just the little bits off of the sheep. That's what... I say it's not over-processed. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's still the little bits of vegetables. Yeah. lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, so just thin it out and then. It's not smelly though. No, 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 it's not smelly. Well, I know no. that sounds like a silly thing, but the reason I say it is because you know, some of the press, I don't know if you've ever used like the wall pressing mats. Yes. 
yeah. as soon as you put heat on, they yeah. smell like farmyard. But you see, yards. I love the smell. I love the country. I love, I love the, the smell of sheep. Yeah. And um, I do have um, some raw fleeces that I wash. Um, and so you do. But here we go. You've got any gardeners? Okay, okay. yeah. Okay. Wash your fleeces. Liquid sheep's poo. Brilliant on your garden. My God, the roses have never looked so good. No way! <laughs> I did it. His, I did it um, purely by accident. Um, I was washing some fleeces, and I thought, "Well, I'm not going to put all the water." And I thought, "Oh, I'll, I'll just throw it behind me." Um, Steve, my partner's the gardener, and I didn't tell him because I was thinking he's probably going to tell me off because it's got yeah. lanolin in and all sorts. When it came to the summer, he said, "Why have these roses done so much better than these roses?" Like, did you tell I him? know why. <laughs> oh, brilliant! So since then, oh look, I've stabbed myself. Oh. Oh no, that's because we were getting you telling all these stories. You just said, do never you ever go. stab yourself? No, no never. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, I do occasionally when I'm not paying attention. But, um, yeah. We've literally only got a couple of minutes okay. now anyway, all so right. we can just talk through the. So, I part. am going to then. Yes. So, here's one which has had all his. Um, little colourings um, oh. put on and you can see this side I've actually added the eye um, and the little detail this side hasn't had it so, so the detail again isn't an embroidery thread that's no. again using the yeah. exactly the same literally technique. just a little dent like we did before add a little bit of thread um, here once again just the little V shape you can put a little pink on for his nose oh, if yeah. you want to did we put any on no I think we just left him and the eye, the eyes that you've got are like these amber eyes, which are lovely. Mm. Um, we put dark behind because it just gives that depth. But if you wanted that eye colour to be a different colour, you could either put some nail varnish on it behind of a darker colour and it'll ah. just be darker. Or sometimes you can use um, Sharpies and things. But you can just colour the back of them and it'll make them darker. But you can see that was an amber and I've just put the dark colour, the brown, behind it and it makes it really nice and dark pop Deep, doesn't it doesn't it um and then i do add a bit extra of fluff for the yeah. chest just to make it a little bit more um prominent shall we say and i do add a little extra bit there just because you say that's a little bit flatter i've just added a bit more but you just play around with it you will have extra oh you will have extra to be able to play around and do whatever do and of course his little let's not forget tail. his little tail that Aww. we've got on the back so yeah so remember it's all random. in uh, the videos yes. and it's all of course in your instructions we're gonna have to do another whole day yes. of photo <laughs> yes. next time thank you so much it's been lovely oh, to meet you and i can't brilliant. wait to find you on social media <gasps> so exciting just remind us stephanie lester so but Stephanie I've, Lester, artist. Artist, yeah. brilliant, we'll find you. Thanks so brilliant. much, we'll see you oh. soon. Just a quick reminder, this is how you shop. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Oh, wasn't that brilliant? I'm so excited to see everybody's makes on the, the fan page as well. All of the kits have been amazing. Now we've seen how to do it. Now is the time to check out on your kit. So, are you going to make the rainbow, the beehive, the bunny, the hedgehog? Are you going to do the whole shebang and then make up your own as well with the beginner's felting bundle? We've got a saving if you do think, like me, 
I can't make up my mind which one I want to do and I want to also play around with maybe making some of my own. So you get this one, which is your beginner's felting bundle. We're calling it the stash builder. You get loads of wool in there, plus you still get your base, all your needles, everything that you need to get going. Uh, and with a massive saving, remember all of these kits, including the hedgehog, they're all so beautifully presented. How about, you know, people coming over for Christmas, you could all have one and open it almost like as a table gift and then that can be a little afternoon activity. Um, you've got the rainbow, really beautiful gift for somebody. Uh, the bunny, not forgetting the bunny that we've seen. And then, oh, beehive. We're also adding in for the same price, your beehive as well. Everything you can see there for $59.99, which is a huge exclusive price to us. I say a huge, a huge saving uh, exclusive to us for just $59.99. All of those kits, everything that you need, they all come with the little uh, the, the foam pads, they all come with the needles, they, they come with the glass eyes as well where you need them. You can, uh, they come with the wings for the, for the bees as well. So everything that you get, you can get it home and get needle felting. Very exciting. They're all available individually as well. If you have a look on the website, you can get um, the, the crafty company on the website. You'll be able to see them all. Will I still, will I see the beginner's felting bundle there or will I need to uh, write the code? Um, you should see it there. If for anybody who doesn't know, it's MFC752 for that one on its own. Um, okay, so tomorrow's show. We have got Stitching Circles Cushion. Uh, who is Jules on with me tomorrow? Jules on with me tomorrow. Jules, um, my youth. So we've got her coming in for eight o'clock. At nine o'clock, I've got more fabulous fabrics. 10 o'clock, we're gonna do some quilt as you go. We've got a, a shopper's tote bag coming up at 10 o'clock. And 11 o'clock, we've got machine, uh, we've got a sewing machine, the Juki NX7, and lots of tools to go with as well at 11 o'clock. Uh, and then we're also gonna be repeating at uh, 12 o'clock this morning's 8 a.m. show, which was the launch of Lynette Anderson's show, which is amazing. So, coming up in the next hour, there's still another hour of the repeat, of the replay to enjoy from yesterday's 8 a.m. show, um, which was, what did we do yesterday? Uh, do you know, I'm all over the place this week. It's bank holiday, wasn't it? Our bank holiday bonanza, it was amazing yesterday. So watch the show back, have a look at the deals. Um, have a look at the website, check out your baskets, get used to the new layout, very exciting. And I'll see you again bright and early tomorrow at 8 a.m. See you then.